Does that sound better, Reaver? Did I get rid of the noise? Hopefully I got rid of the noise anyway. I haven't streamed in God knows how long. What's up, Arkham? So, uh, essentially what's going on is we are doing a, um, a five-year anniversary of the Splat World. So, just kind of doing a little bit of a, a thing to gather people in and whatnot. So, that's kind of what I've got going on. At the moment, while people start to congregate and get in here. What's going on, Chris? A nice to see you. It has been a while. About a year or so, if I'm not mistaken. I can't wait to see how, uh, how goofy this stream is, considering I haven't done this in Lord knows how long. The last time I streamed the, uh, the Minecraft world was a year ago. Legitimately, I had planned to do more. I mean, yeah, as if, if it's if it isn't scuffed, is it really a stream? No, but I mean, I try, you know, me, I try to actually do some kind of production value in everything that I do. I always tried my best. The early days. Oh Lord, I gotta change my uh, my outfit here. Got to. I don't even know who I want to put on as my quote unquote Minecraft skin. I guess I can go with the uh, the Dapper Steve. I guess I can go with that. All right. Well, I guess we can go ahead and kick this monstrosity of a stream off as soon as this round ends. I was going to say next, but there's no N. How about Ream? You already... Crash, you already put Extreme in. Or you put that in there. Meat. You got meat there. Yeah, the three, there's a couple of streams up there on YouTube. I mean, I've never actually taken down any of those VODs. They're all there. I keep wanting to put in like text and like, I can't do text. T-Rex. Is T-Rex not a word? T-Rex is not a word. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. There's only one M. There's only one M. Uh, ooh. Tree. Tree's one. It's got to be one. Yep, got tree. Got meter. I don't know how I didn't figure out tree, considering I'm standing on one right now. All right, fail. We're just we're just plain old bad at this game, but that's fine. All right, let's see if I go to the right one right off the bat. Did I go to the right one? 
I did go to the right one. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the five-year anniversary of the Splat World. This is something that has been going on for a while. There's a lot of different stuff that's going to be happening here on this stream today. We're, I, you know, I have no idea what's actually happening. I'll be 100% honest with you. I've been so preoccupied with work and other things going on, but Kelly has reminded me that there is a five-year anniversary this year, which, of course, we started this, well, we started this back on Father's Day five years ago. This was something that... I had just come up with, uh, I, I couldn't sleep one night, the story goes, I just couldn't sleep, and I was looking for something to do, so of course, what do I do to fall asleep? I either play Virtual Boy or I play Minecraft, or at least that's what I did back in the day. And essentially what happened was, is I got inspired to somehow decide to create the facade for Nickelodeon Studios, which has been gloriously recreated in this monstrosity that you can see behind my character here. It looks absolutely terrible. I don't know why anybody thought this actually was a cool looking thing. But I thought it was okay. For the time, right? I mean, you know, it's something different. It's something I hadn't seen before. I was inspired by seeing all these different Minecraft creations. And it was like, hey, you know, maybe I'll do this. And of course, I showed my coworkers it when I got into work. Because what else do you do at 4 o'clock in the morning? We talk about random stuff, water cooler moments, and this just happened to be mine that I did last night. So I showed it to them, and they were like, that's cool. You should actually put something inside of it. And I was like, well, I am a Guts fan. I could make some sort of Guts thing, and I just kind of did. So that was quite an interesting, interesting moment, experience, to kind of play around with something. And, of course, if you want to see that monstrosity of what eventually became the pilot episode for Minecraft Guts. Um, it is on my YouTube, same name, Monkey Dude 22 I'm sure all of you guys have already seen that. But from then, this sort of kind of steamrolled and evolved into something much, much bigger. As Mr. Noon, uh, I don't know, yep, he is over there running around somewhere in the background, I think. Um, Mr. Noon reached out and we kind of started coming up with our own little, not really necessarily a recreation but we kind of expanded on what was going on. But this was before realms were even a thing in Minecraft. So at this time, you could only just do online multiplayer. And But he saw the videos and reached out, and we kind of just started doing some different things. And then we decided, well, I, I knew eventually that realms was going to be a thing. Um, not, it wasn't really public knowledge yet, but I knew it was going to be a thing. So I was like, let's hold off on doing anything else. Let's wait until realms becomes a thing. And then let's make something really crazy. And what happened between then and now over the last five years is what you're about to kind of see. Now, most of you have probably seen a lot of this. Some of you may have not. But that is the genesis of what we're doing, or at least that's the genesis of what all exists here today. All stems from that moment. So... I just want to acknowledge everybody in the chat there. Wills is out there. I see Kelly out there. The Realm Revived, of course. I know Reaver has seen a couple of those. This is the five-year reunion. This is indeed our five-year reunion. And check this out. Monk still has hair after five years. I still have hair. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I see Chris is out there. Arkham's is out there. I know Crash was out there for a half a second. Bunch of guys from the NHL community that I've kind of been like playing around with over the last couple of years. Uh, developed some really good friends over the pandemic. And yes, Chris, long time no see Chris contributing long ago to the realm. He actually did a FIFA area, believe it or not. He made a FIFA World Cup museum. That was something that he did. Uh, but aside from that, you know, that was just the backstory there. Wills has provided with me a video of, quote unquote, the Splat World News episode for today. So I'm going to run that. Uh, but I also wanted to kind of show you some different things that I have for giveaways. Because, of course, what is an anniversary stream without some giveaways? And these were things that I wanted to give away for the last time when I did my 24-hour extra live stream. That never actually happened. But for those that have not seen, I've got a hat here from Nickelodeon Universe. This is from American Dream Mall in New Jersey. It's an exclusive. You can only get it at the mall. I've also got a Patrick hat. You've got this Patrick hat here, which is really cool. I can put it on. Now you can say it's monk-worn hat. I've got a SpongeBob version of the same one. 
Look at that. You can kind of see the green screen coming into a play. Look at that. Very cool. Got that. We've got another one right here. If anybody can guess who this character is, you win a million dollars. Not really. I don't have a million dollars. Please don't take that literally. And we've got, of course, Sandy. But yes, of course, the other one was Plankton. This one's Sandy. You can kind of tell, but you can't. There you go. It'll mess with the camera enough. All right, so let's go ahead and run Wills' news episode. I believe this is like 10 minutes long, so I apologize in advance if this is not something that you are interested in. But I understand this is a really cool interview about kind of the realm's history. And I believe Kelly is in this one. I'm not sure who else is. Honestly, I didn't get a chance to watch it beforehand. So we're going to watch it together for the first time. So let me go ahead and key that up here. And we should be good to go. I think it's this scene right here. Hello and welcome to Splat World News. Today is Saturday, the 17th of June, 2023. Coming up on today's show. Can I say? After a few months away, the Splat World students are back and better than ever on this very special day, Splat World's fifth birthday. Kelly joins me to talk about the past five years and what's next on the horizon. And we've got the latest news all around the Splat World, and QTV Neck Bro is here with the latest in gaming and pop culture. Hey everybody, welcome to Splat World News, I'm Wells the King. Welcome to the show, it's been a long time coming, but we're finally here. Splat World has been away for the past few months, I'd say probably around a year. But, to be honest, we don't have that much news to bring you today, because we're just back, alright? But hopefully in the months to come, we'll have more news, and of course if you have something to share on the show, you can tell me in the Discord. But we start with the Splat World City. It is, I'd say, almost finished. But we need builders to do the interiors of skyscrapers. So if you're interested in helping out with the city, please contact Eastwood on our Discord server. And now we start a new segment. My friend and yours, KTV Netbro, joins me to tell us about the latest in pop culture and gaming news. Take it away, QTV. Thanks, Wills. Last week, Minecraft released a Trails and Tales update to Bedrock, which introduced camels to the game, as well as hanging signs and crafting with bamboo. Cyberpunk 2077 is set to feature new localization in Ukrainian after years of campaigning by Ukrainian gamers. And Summer Game Fest 2023 went by with a grand showcase of new upcoming titles from different developers. One of them, Immortals of Avium, features a mix of magic and a first person shooter, coming out on July 20th. That's all from MikuTV, Wills. Thank you very much QTV, that was some interesting stuff there. Now, as I said at the top of the show, today is Splat World's 5th anniversary. Wow, I can't believe it's been 5 years. Johnny has to be Kelly and QTV in just a minute, but first let's take a look back at the first stream of Splat World. And here we go. So as you can see right now, the uh, the front facade is kind of definitely on its way to being built. Uh, the middle part was a lot of work. I did a lot of that stuff today, a lot of trial and error. I was really trying to figure out how I wanted it to work, uh, but it's a lot more like it is in real life. So now you have the actual balcony that's somewhat realistic. But So there's really nothing to see here in this soundstage right here. It's probably going to be the Nickelodeon Guts set again, because that's how it was um, in the original build. So. Uh, other building right here, same dimensions as the other. Um, this is probably going to be either Double Dare or Legends of the Hidden Temple. Wow, I can't believe that was five years ago, back in 2018. Joining us now is Kelly2HD, and QTV's here as well. Hey guys, how you doing? Hello, I'm doing good. You? I'm, I'm alright, thanks. Kelly, how are you? I'm doing, I'm doing phenomenal. I'm doing phenomenal. Great. So, it's been five years. How? We, we've survived five years. That's crazy. Five well, years? Jesus. 
We've yeah. done a lot in five years. Um, what have we done? We've built stuff. We've destroyed stuff. Um, we've built stuff again. We built stuff again. We've had some like fights. We've been banned we, a few we, times. Um, well, more like more like you got banned a few well, times. Like, I, I never got banned. Yeah. <laughs> There was that whole like Splat World War. Um, we could go on for hours, but we're not going to do that. So let's start off with you, Kelly. What is your favorite memory from the past five years? Uh, favorite memory. I mean, it, it it's it's very much a culmination of a lot of things. I think probably one of my favorites would be. I don't know. I feel like definitely staying up for like a couple of hours doing all that shit. and maybe maybe it's like de- definitely the KCA stuff. Definitely afterwards. It was really great. Really yeah. good to just be able to do all that. I just want to say apologies for the language. I'm going to have to bleep that out in editing. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, oh, you swore. Get him. Anyways, um, I've I've lost my train of thought. Great, Th- this is just how you describe Splat World in five years. We've we've forgot everything. Yeah, more well, like we've all become insane in the process. Yeah. So it's yeah. QTV. What has been your favorite memory for the past five years? Uh, well, there's a lot of things. I can't put like one memory but uh, one of my favorites ah. was the first stream i ever appeared on uh which i don't remember exactly when uh what it was i think it was like october november of what 20, 20 not 19 yeah um yeah and uh <laughs> and uh, we had uh, i just was there in the chat back then but i would later join i think a few months later in 2020 everything i uh, yeah, and, uh... I just want to well, say, not... um, I muted my mic on Discord, but I didn't mute it on here, and I didn't think my mic was working, so I screamed, like, halfway during your answer, QTV. <laughs> Dude, honestly, just keep it, just keep it. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're keeping it. This <laughs> really is, like, the <laughs> Orson <laughs> Welles uh, French interview. <laughs> French went commercial, 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 yeah. No, we, we're not doing commercials here. Who do you think we are? CNN? French. No way. Yeah. This <laughs> new French wine. It is uh, made uh, beautiful uh, French. <laughs> Whoa, KD, <laughs> shut up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> talking about, talking about CNN, Cobalt really should be here. Um we should. Yeah. Where is he? Where is this lad? I don't know. Oh, we'll get God. him on another time to talk about some random stuff. So yeah, it's been five years. I think my favorite moment would probably be blowing up the neck in and then never rebuilding it isn't that like Najosta land or whatever isn't that like somewhere in, yeah out in the it, outskirts? it's somewhere there but um yeah so there's a Wait. The stream highlight which was meant to rival blowing up soundstage 44 i blew up the neck in i can't remember why but i did yeah, I was like, are you going to rebuild that? Did you ever have any plans to rebuild? I think I did, and then I got banned or something. But that is Oh, the it was probably because of that whole thing. Right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of, like, I don't know. I have, like, a, some regrets. Like, what if Splat World was done differently? Like, in my opinion, Hollywood should be near the city because it's like a sort of city environment, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I understand that. I feel like it's. I don't really have any regrets in terms of that. I feel like it's just. Uh, I think it's more regrets in the sense of what what was happening at the time. Yeah. Uh, rather opposed to as a result, I mm-hmm. think. Because with Hollywood, it's really. It's, it's just really fantastic, you know? It's something that, you know, it, it rivals a lot of builds that we've done. But, like, yeah. just the whole entire process of doing it could have been better. Mm-hmm. I felt like there was a lot of things done right. And, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, overall, 
it's been a good five years. Although well, I say it's been five years, in reality it hasn't really because I think for the past year, year and a half, we've been dead. Like there hasn't been as much streams as there used to, and I hate to say these words, but Splat World's kind of fallen off. Dang. I mean that's a very bold statement. I yeah. Feel. I think it's it's very much not it's fallen off. It's just we've all done different things, and mm -hmm. it's just you you have to accept that really. That's just the way. That's just the way it goes. You know. Um. There's there's just nothing more that you can do other than just you know celebrate that we even got to where we were in the first place because we could have we could have ended at. You know, we could have ended in 2020. We could have been, it just, the show was over, but no. And I somehow think we survived. That was somehow, somehow we even got through with building Hollywood. We, you know, rebuilding that. We, we got, you know, we did everything we could. And, you yeah. know, I, I admired that. I just want to say a big thank you to Kelly for making me editing this thing a lot more difficult. Thank you very much. Key I love it. Yeah. Key TV, any closing remarks? Key TV. Key TV has gone comatose. We're going to have to, like, uh, we're going to have to, like, you know, we're going to we're gonna have to do, we're going to have to Oh, he's back. Can, okay, Key TV, any closing remarks? Fucking microphone. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, so uh, crazy story. Crazy five years it was, and I'm. Um, I want more. <laughs> I want um, that world to continue. I want it to prosper. I want uh, you more. Uh, oh yeah, said more. Yeah, let me sing again. But yeah, it'll, it'll be you know. I think that world will continue to exist, no matter like how like inactive it will be. It will still be there. Like the whole world like, will just be like gone, like, like rip, like it, it's over, right? But uh, Flat World will still be like there, like in the like, like floating, like in the void, and like aliens will, like pick it up and like go, what the heck is this? It'll be like the only like remnant of like a civilization of like humanity. And it'll base of their like an entire imagination of humanity on this one like part of like this crazy stuff that we did, and mm -hmm. there will be, yeah, it will be just it will be only better. I think also I think that. This five year anniversary will finally revive that world. I think. I hope yeah. so. I hope it will. Because I think it will give an to Monkey to finally wake up from his sleep and finally do something about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, yeah. like, to anyone who's watching, and if you've gotten this far, congratulations. Um, <laughs> oh, you have a really good attention span if you did that. Yeah. So. Yep. Anyone who's watching and hasn't heard of Splatwell before and are interested in Nickelodeon, please join our Discord server and build stuff for us. Because that would be... <laughs> that that would be great. I mean, I, I think he's, you know, better words, you know, come, you know, help join us and help build with us instead of for us. Because that sounds a little bit... That doesn't sound very good, does that, it? That sounds like <laughs> communist Russia. Let's not do that. Let's not communist do that. Russia. Okay, let's talk about communist from Russia, please. Uh, yes. Yeah. Apologies, KTV. Anyways, An uh, let's oh, stop well, this interview before we get cancelled. No, no it, it's 2023, yeah, guys. Wow. Right, so, Kelly, finally, any closing remarks? <laughs> uh, I am... Um, not opposed to a return. I feel like that would be really great, but I feel like the the support is kind of it's it's diminished in a way where I don't think it's possible. Mm -hmm. And I I'd like to be proven wrong. I really I really do, but uh, you know for me it's very much you know I have a lot more. I have a lot of other you know. I have a lot of other projects that I'm I'm working on behind the scenes, and it's just like, if if that would ever return, I my role would diminish greatly, and uh, yeah, that's just kind of, that's just really how it goes, you know. You just can't really do nothing about that, but 
hey, I'd like to be proven wrong. I'd like to see what what happens. Yeah, I get you. Like, we would all like it to thrive, but in reality, is that going to happen? Yeah, rather yeah. than... Somebody- <laughs> mm-hmm. I just want to say, this chat has reminded me of the supposed podcast we were going to do, the Splat World Roundtable. Oh, yeah. I guess it was... Yeah. Oh, wait, we haven't done that? I probably didn't do it. <laughs> I, to be honest, no, he, I can't remember. No, he oh, never he did. did. He was... I I was like, hey, when are we going to do that? And then he was like, he just went at my eye, bro. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to do the grind myself. I'm going to have to like, I'm fine, I'll do it myself. Yeah, no, and I'm then, not doing it, yeah. Well, I just want to say, Kelly and QTV, thank you very much for joining me today on this, I guess, very special occasion. Sparrow's fifth birthday. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. So, I have to want to say, quite finally, this interview has carried the news show episode. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to do a lot more carrying than that, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Kelly, QTV, thank you very much. And that is it for today. Uh, now we'll bring back to Monkey and the Splatworld stream. I never thought I'd be saying those words again. Thanks. Yeah, I never thought that would come yeah. out. Yeah, thank you for (laughs) watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. And thank you for that seamless transition, which I had no idea how that interview was going to end. So thank you very much for that. And look what happened. I am now in a jail cell because this is what happens. So W's for that interview. I appreciate you guys putting that together. Very informative. I've, I love the fact that you got it all, everybody there together. And look, here we are. I'm getting absolutely bombarded with things and stuff. Oh, Lord. All right. So let's see. Happy five years, monkey. Too long, monk. Mr. Nin. There he is. Sorry for the blank. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what the blank was. Oh, yeah, there's the actual studio. That's the actual studs now that you can actually see. If you hadn't seen it before, that's what the new one looks like. And this is what the old one looks like. So just to throw this out there, if you have not seen this world before, this is five years of just nonstop ideas and random things thrown around and evolutions. And just if you'd seen just how this world has transpired and evolved over the years like it's absolutely insane uh but this used to be the original city which is now turned in kind of to a like a museum slash hub so if you kind of if you get a chance to come on the realm which it's hosted in bedrock so if you're on xbox playstation mobile pocket whatever like you can come in and check it out i definitely recommend you coming through and seeing this little kind of pathway which is kind of like our homage to things of the past so if you come along you can see some of the original things here's a recreation of the original slime geyser aka the cringe geyser this was my idea of a of a slime geyser it's absolutely terrible but i mean you know it is what it is then we had the evolution which was so much better the 2.0 and then of course you've got the original brick from the 1.0 paint job and then we kind of replaced it you know, just kind of just go along the lines and you can kind of see some of the history. There's like the original time capsule things that were in there. Um, you know, the original cover. Here's like the a screenshot. I, I actually kept this in our custom uh, pack for the longest time. Uh, this was the original unveiling of like the time capsule. This was like a tradition we did like every year for the longest time. And that was the screenshot of it. So it's kind of cool. You can see some more of the history, Grand Central Station, uh, which originally the idea was, um, since everything here is Nickelodeon themed or related in some way, shape or form, uh, they actually got the license to the Ninja Turtles. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a sewer underground thing. And, uh, you know, like in Ninja Turtles 3, they had like this kind of um, area where they made like their home base, if you will. And then they had the subway stations that would take you wherever. So I thought it'd be a kind of a cool thing to try with that. So it was a cool idea that kind of worked for a little bit, but then we expanded so much that it just never really happened. 
And then, of course, we've got faces of some of the great people that have been here in the past. This here is Gatekeeper. Um, the original first perfect score, he was on the pilot episode of uh, Guts. You've got some other folks here. Here's Toasty. Toasty, an original person that was on the realm here. Some of these people have moved on over the years. Some people have not. Some people are still here. Here's Mr. Noon. And obviously, Mr. Noon's right there behind as well. I remember when I first met him and I... Uh, um, I called him Mr. No One because I did not know how to pronounce his name. And so it was like, you can even see it. It's Mr. Known, Mr. Noon, but it's Mr. No One. That's how I saw it. And I think originally when you did the episode of Guts, you were King Noon. I think that if I remember right. Uh, but he's here. We've got Blue, Blue Macaw, which I don't know if Blue's not actually here. I don't think there's a bunch of people on the, oh, there he is. Blue is still here. Uh, but not over by his portrait, so I'm not sure where he's at. Uh, we'll have to find him out, maybe. Uh, here's Hasloom. Hasloom is the wizard on the realm who has done so many things with command blocks and all sorts of different fun things. So a lot of the different things that you'll see that are really technically minded, those were all done by Hasloom, so really cool. It's not no one. It's Mr. Noon. Sonic, Sonic the Skeech, Sonic the Sketch. He was here for a time. He was here for about a year, uh, but then he got sent to time out. He was in his room being punished, and I don't think I ever saw him again after that. Um, he did some really cool things as well with the original town that came into play. He made a lot of the original buildings. Some of them were carbon copies with his own twist, but he did a lot of original ideas as well. We had this really cool, elaborate New Year's Eve party, and he made this countdown clock where everything like glowed. It was like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And a huge fireworks display. So that was really cool. Um, Sonic did some amazing things. Uh, I don't think there's... No, there was nothing here, really here on this side. What else do we have? Uh, this was an original fountain that he made. So that's kind of cool. We actually tried our best to clone all of these things... And, uh, you know, keep them here just for posterity so people could actually see everything that happened. Here's Updog, which I saw Updog's name. I don't know if he's still here. I saw him join on the realm at one point, although we're kind of maxed out, so he probably can't get on right now. But he was here for a moment, and he did the, the new version of the city. Well, there was a huge collaboration, but this was Updog. He really wanted to try to do a modern-day city on the realm, so... That is definitely something that he took part in. And like I said, I don't see his name on here right now, but I'm sure he'll be here at some point. Then, of course, here's Kelly, the bald man Kelly, uh, or Kelly6419, the Dolphin King, the Dolphin Lord. And actually, uh, can we look at these things? Mice men were here. They always were here, the Argus. You never know what you're going to find on this realm. Originally, what we were going to do is we were going to have these books that were going to have, like, different backstories of everybody. Oh, what's going on? Oh, somebody decided to play words on stream. Somebody decided to play words on stream. Cool. All right. Um, so, yeah, that, that was something that we definitely tried to do. Um, I don't think we ever really got a chance to finish that off. Because, really, like, I'm the one that knows a lot of the backstory, and I just never got to it. Over here, we've got... Who's this? Oh, this is my this is my thing. Um, and of course, you can kind of see. So originally, I had a skin that I was wearing that was kind of like in the the vibe of a monkey, and this was done by, um, of course, none other than our friend who is not here, Eastwood. And um, he, I think he was working today, if I remember right. Oh, there he is. Just got to work. Shame I can't make it. Eastwood in the chat there. So. Um, and of course, right next to me is Eastwood. So there you go. Eastwood in the chat, Eastwood on the stream right there. You can see his giant mug. Um, there is Cobalt. Cobalt used to wear a skin that was much like the, uh, Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast. That was his thing. So that's why his face is representative of a clock. Um, so yeah, he did some cool stuff for a time or two. He did the, uh, Nickelodeon Inns and Suites, did some stuff over in Hollywood. He did the brain surge set or not brain surge he did um uh rumble that's what it was nickelodeon rumble he did rumble um that was a thing and the rest of that's just kind of more stuff from the olden days if we come over here there's a whole other section where we've got some space for other folks here is bungle bungle plays did some really cool builds as well 
ABD, why am I getting a Minecraft urge again? Oh no, dude, ABD, you have not seen even what's going on in here, which will even likely tour a lot of this stuff because this is a five year anniversary stream. We're gonna do nothing but reminisce about what happened. Um, here's Wills, Wills the King, which I don't know, where is Wills? He's not even by his face. He's Is he still? Yep, he's still here. He's somewhere, but... Uh, QTV, there's QTV right there. QTV Nick Bro. Just vibins hanging out up there. And I think this might have been it in terms of faces that are on here, unless there's anything else that I'm missing. I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it. So I mean, there's so much that we can show off on this realm. There's so much that we can do. Um, what I want to do is I want to bring everybody in. So from here on out, there's probably going to be a lot of voices. Um, they're not just voices that you're hearing in, in your head. That's everybody who is on the stream call. And I have no idea what is actually happening from here on out. So the way I kind of figured it is we'll probably do some tours and some different stuff. We'll do some giveaways. I've got all some stuff sitting here. Um, End Man, yeah, End Man was over there somewhere, um, but I don't think he's on the. I don't know if he's on the call. I don't even see him in here. He's not on the realm. But all right, so I'm going to join the voice call in the Discord. Um, if you guys want to actually join this realm, I think we're capped out right now because normally for a realm there's like U plus ten. So I think we're capped out on people that can actually join. Uh, but if spots open up, you want to join the Discord because that's where we have the link for the actual realm. You just click on that. It'll bring you right in. Once again, this is in Bedrock, so it'll work on PC, mobile, Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, whatever you're playing Minecraft on. And yeah, so here we go. I have no idea what's going to happen from here on out, so God be with you. Here we go. Yo, King. He's here. Hello, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Oh my god. I might oh have my. to do some uh, some adjusting of the volumes, but uh <laughs> I told you. Yeah, I told only thirty nine so. minutes into the stream, I'm finally joining the call, right? Only thirty nine minutes. Yeah, right. Yeah. Finally. Only thirty nine minutes. I didn't realize it was well, that long. We can thank Wills for the uh, the fifteen minute newscast. Yeah, thanks so, Wills. No worries. Yeah. Yeah, shout Wills. out to Wills for thanks that. For 15 minutes, no doubt. All right, so I think we have to do something because we always have to do this before every stream. And yep. I hope so. This is Kelly's thing, so we'll let Kelly do the honors. And holy cow, there is no more zombie no fence more. and all sorts of stuff. You know, we, we had to clean up, we had to do some street cleaning up for this. We okay? did. And look, I didn't lie. Um, the coming soon just took about like, I don't know, six, seven months, something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, I randomly came in one day and I was just like, because like it, you know, anytime there's a realm update, like I have to come in and like, you know, you make sure it's it. working. And um, I just saw like all of a sudden somebody made like this giant skeleton pit and like toxic waste and stuff. And I was like, what's going on here? And it's like, <laughs> we'll never be back or something like that. And then I just put like, oh, yeah, there it is. Coming so, soon. All right. As, as a part of tradition, we must do the stream status 3.0. Only Dolphin Telster, the great Goon King, can change this, by the way. And the message The mighty it Dolphin. Won't be, it won't be long. We're moving on. And you know what? I, I didn't think it would happen, but the stream is on. Yay! Yay! We did a thing. We are actually. Back. It did this is crazy. And I will do the honors that get rid of the uh, coming soon. Because we're no longer coming soon. We are now back. All right. So um, I honestly don't know what you guys had in plans. So, Kelly, did you have something in mind or are we just kind of going around and reminiscing? Kind of, I mean, kind of. It's all kind of jumbled together. But I do have a few announcements because for the most part, it was it was more of you know kind of a solo thing that i worked on because honestly i just felt like you know five years i mean you have to do something really you have to you have to really pull in all your effort for this and i knew that i had to go look through the archives and i had to make my own archive which i'll be releasing full of photos kind of text all of that from inside and all of the little gizmos and gadgets that i've had over the years that i've just saved up so it has a bunch of weird things that I have no idea just 
how I even saved. And then there's also the Lost Guts episode that I edited over. Oh, did you actually edit that? I, I edited it. It was horrible. My God. I did. the. I, I had to do it. I had to do it. Yeah. So to give a little bit of context, um, obviously people know that I film different episodes of Guts and then I put them on my YouTube channel. But there was an episode that I think it was Blue, it was Kelly, and who was the other person? And me. Mr. Noon. Mr. Me. Noon. It was Mr. Noon. Um, yeah, because the rule was like, once you've won an episode, you can't be on it again unless I do a new series. Or so, Beekeeper. Yeah. So um, we filmed this episode and I don't remember exactly why... Um, I think it was because everybody was messing around while things yeah. were being filmed and like none of the shots worked in continuity. It just looked really, really goofy. So um, at some point, probably six months after I filmed it, um, everybody was like, where is it? Where is it? And I was just like, I don't want to release this. This is bad. <laughs> so Kelly was like, give it to me. I'll do something with it. And I guess and six, finally, seven months later. He did something with it, so... Uh, no, it was more like a um, year or two later. This was filmed in July 2019, if I recall. Wow. Oh, God. Jesus, so, yes, probably. I've been, I've, been hoarding it, I've been hoarding it for a long time, but I, I knew at some point you had to release it. And it was bad. It was really bad editing it. I had to it's true. basically mute a lot of the audio because... A, there was I remember recording. Cobalt was just messing around in oh, the middle dude, of the bad. production. Oh, That's what oh, I remember. God, no. Uh, real quick, Colgate, can you make a game show host memorial for all the game show hosts that passed away over the past years? I actually want it. So um, I want to do something because I've always said that I wanted to do like a salute your shorts camp on a wanna thing. And we never did that. That's something that I wanted to do. Who knows? Maybe we do that today. I don't know. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, we did lose Ugg. Ugg did pass away within the last year. Um, oh. and I don't want to necessarily make, you know, like a giant, you know, mass grave or anything like that, but I think it would be nice if we did a tribute to Ugg. I think that would be nice. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe we can do something with that. Um, and, you know, see if there's any way else we can honor different people. Uh, Steven Hillenberg, who passed away, obviously we did the Hillenberg, uh, well, might as well just go over and show this off. Um, one way that we honored Mr. Hillenberg was we created the Hillenberg Arena. And this was going to be the place where we were going to do different events, like the Splat World Award Show, like the Kid Choice Award sort of thing. Um, it has since evolved into the Hillenberg Theater, because Theater is spelt with an R-E instead of E-R, according to Eastwood. Um, so this is actually no, in his honor. No, we do actually have a sort of memorial gravesite for Mr. Hillenberg. It's in Bikini Bottom. So we do have that. And uh, I'll go ahead and go in here so people can see this. And I'm, I'm literally showing this off because there's a lot of people who have not seen this before. So we're going to go into the Hillenberg Theater. We'll take a look. And of course, this is Minecraft. So, you know. You'll be pretty surprised at what you can actually accomplish if you put your mind to it. Here is the it Hillenburg have Theater. A Nickelodeon feel to it. Yeah, everything it in this realm it. is Nickelodeon themed in some way, shape, or form. It always this comes doesn't back. Have a feel to it. This feels more modern, and I don't like. It, it does feel more modern, but it also does have that Nickelodeon flair because you've got you got the Krabby yeah, Patty, Patty, you know. Um, the other thing is too is we can actually open up the curtains if somebody wants to hit the button. Wherever that is. Does anybody remember where it is? There it is. There it, okay. is. there it is. Look at that. We actually have a working creeper. curtain in here with a creeper oh, face. Her. Wow. Pretty pretty sick. Oh, oh my God. And you can uh, actually, Alex? there's lights in here too, so people can actually change the lighting okay. if they wanted to. And oh, I'm going to get out before the thing closes on me. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, there's a really cool elaborate system. Once again, this was all done by Hasloom, who come, did these crazy wow. things. Come behind if you want to show it off. Like this is crazy. Well, I think the the curtains are actually underground, if I remember right. No, it is all behind. Everything is behind here. Did he put it Every, behind? Just come backstage. Everything. Oh boy. All the redstone. Yeah, oh my god, I didn't even realize. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know he did that. Um, it let's see, where is it? No, yeah, the well, curtains yeah. are... I thought the... Oh, oh right, yeah, maybe they're back here. Yeah, the curtains are underground. Right here. Oh, wait, that's light. Yeah, the, you're talking... The, so the scaffolding's back here and, like, you know, oh, with wait, the lights did, and all that yeah, system. Down there. I, 
Yeah, yeah. The, the curtains are underground, if I remember right, because okay. they had to be close by. Yeah, the curtains are under by Haslum and the redstone was me. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I remembered. Yeah, it's always the, the duo. The duo kind of does the thing. Now, how do I get yeah. out of here? Uh, I don't know. You'll figure it out. I got a really <laughs> press. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, so here, yeah, you can see underground. So originally, like I said, this was the, uh, the Hillenburg Arena, and we actually had things set up. You can see there's still the cloning area for Double Dare Live. We still had the actual, oh, uh, have, no, the oh, set down that. here. So yeah, that was right. still down here and still is down here. Um, we can come down to the corner here, and we have another this set. This led up, uh, okay, so this was the seating arrangement for the um, award show. And then if you go down one more, we have the wrestling ring we have for Slime oh, Fest. No. KWU Slime Fest, remember that? Who remembers uh, that? And look, you even have I the goofed up know. botched uh, cloned area over here. It's still over here. It's amazing to see all this stuff that still exists somehow. And then if you come down any lower, you're going to end up in the lava pit. Oh, no. So, oh, well. that is, in a nutshell, the Hillenburg Theater. Um, I can show I you what out. happened to the arena. Let's see. I got to figure out. Yeah, I got to figure out my own way out. <laughs> I got to find a way out. Let's go back over here. There we go. Up a hole. We made everything but like a really noticeable exit. Yep. Um, yeah, so what I remember um, is, yeah, so if you can see like underneath the dome here, this used to be the original arena, obviously. Uh, but we decided to build the theater inside of it because we loved the way that the glass roof looked. And I'm just going to fly up so you guys can see what the roof looks like. Uh, this was another thing that was done by Sonic, if I remember right. He put out the, and it's, please correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure this was Sonic. Um, did a oh. cool little uh, Patrick. He did a SpongeBob. It was Sonic. Mr. Krabs. We got Plankton. And yeah, the whole thing was built to be like the uh, the Krusty Krab, or at least have that vibe. So that's what it's uh, what it's all about there. Yeah, ABD, it's like, you, this, is, this is just one thing. Like, I promise yeah, yeah. you, it will take... If we honestly want to go and look at everything, it'll probably take four or five hours to look at everything on this realm. Um, I'll go into the studios real quick, and then I'll, we can go over to the mall. We can go. Before we, we go to the studios, before we go to the studios, I have a detour. I have a little detour surprise for Mr. Noon, because I think he would enjoy For it. me? Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's over, we're, it's we're... over by the uh, Nick 6 Annex. Uh, the Nick 6 Annex. Oh, All right. Oh, boy. All right, oh, so boy. Where's, okay, yeah. the next thing? originally what I was doing on YouTube is I was doing little small update videos and anything that changed on the realm and the updates got to be so big. I couldn't even do it anymore because the updates became like an hour long. No so matter. like, that's why those videos no stopped and it just was just insane. Just the amount of stuff that's here. So no this is the for. annex. Go down this road. I resurrected from... Grave From oh, the grave, we have. Oh, oh gosh! Oh gosh! <laughs> we have Rigby. Have Rigby's has made an appearance. What? So at oh, one point, when this realm originally Wait, came into existence, <laughs> um, we wanted to film shows, and we still do for the most part. Uh, everyone came up with ideas, and Mr. Noon's idea was he wanted to do Keenan and Keel. Remember Keenan and Keel? Yeah. Keenan oh and Keel. God. Yes, I said that right. I said Keenan and Keel because that's how yeah, Mr. Noon used to say it. Keenan and oh. Keel. I'm making um, fun of me. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's but this was one of the sets, if I remember right, or at least this was. was something that you yes, had thrown out somewhere. This was part of. It was over by uh, where the city is now, kind of where this flat kind of. Yep. Set. Yeah. So this was something oh, that we that put in the city. 44. Uh, yeah, forty-four. Yeah, forty-four was a studio that existed. Was two stories. Yep. I guess we can go into the next six theaters because we're right here, right? And people yeah. can see the amazingness What's that Hazen did. What's playing in here? So let's do a little bit of context on this. This is what, the fourth iteration or the third? Or the uh, fourth. 
fourth. It's the third or the fourth iteration. So this was another thing Mr. Dune came up with um, when the realm was originally coming into existence. And just for context, um, the studio is it still is pretty much where it was originally. That's never really changed. Um, but at some point, there was a river that went all the way through yeah. over to right here. And just across that river... Mr. Noon had a section about right here where I'm standing. And this yeah. was, I believe it was like the Nick Theaters, I think is what it was originally it called. Was the, it, it was the Nick, uh, yeah, the Nick Theaters. And then I had the Nick Inn by Hilton. Yes, and the Nick Inn by Hilton. Had, and then I had Studio 44. Yep, those were the original things. And so we kind of separated it by this river. And it was like, all right, Mr. Noon, you're building your stuff here. I'm going to do the studios and anything <laughs> I want to do over here. And then eventually just everything overgrew. And it just got to the point where we had to just... Yeah. Everything had to get gutted and moved. And this is before cloning, by the way. So was everything was weird. manually right. done. This was before commands. You couldn't manually command, change anything. It was just absolutely nuts. Uh, yeah, like Isla said, it was a six hour was, thing, and if you do the interiors, make yeah. it a day. It, yeah, it literally, this could take a whole day just to tour it. But I've gotten, I'm under no time constraints today. I'm on a three day weekend. I'm just going to do, Lovely. I'm going as long as I feel like I want to go. Uh, but if 44 was also originally right here, um, this was changed to 42 because we decided at one point we wanted to try to make this more realistic. And so we decided that we wanted to do Jimmy Neutron's Nicktoon Blast. So that is Never what right. came in over here and replaced 44, which was this giant monstrosity that was two stories <laughs> tall uh, because it had the Keenan and Kel set. It also had all that at one double point. Dare. They were trying to do that. I'll it had Double Dare originally, double dare. which those episodes okay. you can find. I think they're on Mr. News yes. Channel. So if you I, want to link, link those episodes and people can oh see gosh. what that looked like. Oh God. Um, I don't want to be uh, a cause for alarm, but I think the realm is currently breaking at the seams. I mean, it Why? always was. No, 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 no. Like, there's chunks that are, like, loading in from, like, a snow biome in the mall. Like, oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't surprise me because everyone's flying around all over the place. But Yeah, it's, like, really laggy than usual. I mean, there's how many people here? And they're probably all spread out. So, yeah, it's probably under stress, but... I'll do a quick tour of the, the studios, and then we can kind of move on to some of the other sets. Now, so ABD is here. Crash is here. I think Crash is still might be here. Um, I don't think any of them have ever seen inside of the gut set. I don't think they've ever seen inside, aside from just the video. Um, so this is something I closed the set because Reaver has seen it. I know Reaver has seen it. Um, I actually closed it because I was in the process of redoing stuff. And look at this. Filming date, TVA, January 2023. Look at that. That's how delayed we are right now. <laughs> um, but yes, I started to change the set around because I wanted to make it more as how Global Guts was in real life. So that's why I changed this. And I'll give you a little bit of a tour of what it looks like. As somebody already, well, somebody may have tried to break in. I don't really care at this point. Um, so I went through and I changed around the the crowd stands. So this is more how it was in real life. There were there was kind of like a little riser here. It was less of a like a tiered thing. Um, and then you had the judges table, which the judges table I never had, or at least the presenters from the different areas. So we have the U.S., we have Canada, Mexico, Portugal, the U.K. Um, in the show, it was CIS, and this was like the Russia-Ukraine combined team. Um, the original area over here, this is where I have the staging area. So this is where people would go um, to get ready, and that's still there. We have the, um, the area. This is where people will get their uniforms, outfits on, and anything that they'll actually need for the actual episode. All of this is right here. Um, anything that I needed for the actual show prep. And then I actually started to make a little pathway that would go all the way around the stage. And then it would pop you up right here. And then this would be where the actual entrance would take place. So the intros would actually take place here. And then, of course, you've got everything. Um, and you just do your show as normal. So if... 
I can get my people, my hockey people, because Tugi oh. was supposed to be doing this. Crash was going to do this, and then I needed to get one other person uh, because this is a Global Guts episode. I want people from different countries, so that is the whole idea behind this whole thing. But I've got I've got all the events. Everything's here. The crags here. Everything's ready. The only thing that I've got to do is I have to put in the other extra letters for the uh, the judges. So that's it. That's all this is waiting for in order for me to film another episode, which will happen at some point. And now I'm going to leave. So if everybody will please exit with me so I can close it off again. Shame. I did link the episodes, by the way. There were three I did, of them. I saw that. It's the, uh, the pilot and then a couple of other episodes. So if you want to go see those, those are there in the chat, uh, the Twitch chat. That back. Let me bring that back. Um, so if you've ever been inside Nickelodeon Studios, this is how the tour typically works. You would go up the escalator, you would go around, and then you would go into these viewing tubes where you would be able to look down on the different show sets. So this is the Double Dare set. Um, right now, there's nothing that's on the ground. I will show this off in I just a it. second. I got it. I got it. Okay. Um, basically, behind all these different sets, I have an elaborate cloning system that I created where basically we can spawn in the different physical challenges, we can spawn in the obstacle courses and all that kind of stuff. So that's all what's right here as Mr. Noon. I just go ahead and throw, I don't know, throw the obstacle course in there. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to, uh, trying to. You're clapping right now. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to, trying to get back to, look, it's been a while since I played Minecraft, okay? It's Minecraft. We haven't played it in God I'm trying to figure out how to, there we go. I was already supposed to be the host of Nickelodeon. Let's see. Is it? Happened. Did Where you hit it? This? Uh, I'm trying to find it. I found it. Okay. Yeah, it's back there behind on the right hand side. You found it. Of course. Yeah. All right. So there you go. You can see the cloning system. It just brings in the obstacles and everything just like that. Originally, the idea was we. So originally, and this is I can show this off here. Um. Behind, you can see the the system that shows off the redstone. This is where, like, all the lights would flash and whatnot. Um, originally, there is... Here we go. Down here. This was before cloning uh, was really a thing. So I basically recreated the, the set, like, in multiple different tiers. So I could have different physical challenges. Um, the obstacle course, everything could just be right in here. And then I would be able to come down and film the different stuff. And the way I would film it, you wouldn't really necessarily know that you were in a different part of the stage or something was completely different. So that was originally how this was designed and how it was built. And then when cloning came into place, um, I just recreated everything and I just put it out. You can see the outlines in orange. So this is just to give me the X, Y, Z dimensions. So that way I knew what the cloning area was, the safe zone. And like, these are all the different physical challenges and God, stuff that like one. that. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's kind of how that was all set up. And then down here, you have the actual obstacle course. And that's how it's all set up. And the guts is the same question. way. Everything else is the same way. What is question for the, the uh, question? Somebody want to run this course? What, the obstacle course? The obstacle course. Me, Matter of fact, monkey, do you want to run the obstacle course? Make sure this damn thing is. Oh, I gotta rem I like so I can run it and show give people a demo of how it kind of worked, but it has to be set up. I mean, uh, it, it's, it's set up. I got this. I got this. Come on. Uh, you, you need a boat still. It. You gotta have a boat because I gotta get across the moat or the river. Somebody, somebody. I got production staff for me. Oh, there it is. They changed how all of this works. You used yeah, to be able to hit a button and clear like your entire inventory. You can't even do that anymore. Yeah, what happened with that? That's what I, I have no idea. I can't press the next. I'm like, nothing's happening. All right. So typically the way this would go is you would start here. You would go through the obstacle in one ear. And then you would move on over to the tank. All of these were actually obstacles on the show. There's Blue hanging out over in the bench. The soda jerk. Soda jerk. You got to go and pull the tabs and find out which one has the flag. Then you go over to the brick wall breakout and you have to bust out the wall to head through. Then you climb up the ladder down the Sunday slide. 
QTV Nick Bro is demonstrating. And then we have the blue plate special, which we have the chocolate chip cookie or the chocolate chip pancakes, however you like to view them. Then you would move across here to Lake Double Dare, which there would be a boat and then you would paddle across to grab the flag. Come on over to Das Blimp. And then underneath you would pull the ripcord and a flag and some slime would fall on your head. And then if you were able to do that in, I believe we did it in a 130 seconds. seconds? Yeah. All right. We did like a minute and a half, something like that. We get a Um, time already. And then basically if you could do it, you got whatever the prize would be. And um, typically the way these shows would work. um, I was setting up to do different sort of prizes. So for guts, it would be the aggro crag. Yes. This is bedrock moment. It's still here. All right, so I'm going to try to do this and then see if I can do it. And I'm the one that built all these obstacles, so I better be able to do it. Okay, so you said how many seconds it was? It was a minute and a half. That was how it was supposed to be. All right, Also, I needed, so for the blue plate special, the way this worked is I needed a pickaxe, but we're in creative mode, so I don't really need it. Um, In honor system, I am going to do my best not to fly. Heck, I'm on stream. You can see it, so. You'll know if I all right, cheat, so. All right. You have one minute and 30 seconds to complete all eight obstacles. If you do, you will win fabulous prizes. Are you ready? What am I going to win for each we, each one? we got to go through the prizes. I don't, uh, does anybody have a trip to space camp available? <laughs> Pretty sure we do. Can I get a trip to but Universal it, Studios? Because I'm already here. You are here. Yeah, that, you are the, here. The best oxymoron or the best like thing that most people didn't realize. They filmed on Nickelodeon yes, Studios and Universal. One of the major prizes was being given a trip to Universal Studios Orlando. They were already there. They were already there. So they went a trip to where they're already at. They probably just got like a a park ticket for a day. All right. Anyway, let's go. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody decided to interrupt rudely again. Somebody decided to pull the ripcord. Turn that off. Turn that off. Then I warned you about this earlier. Sorry, I had to do moderation skills right there. Uh, I'm recording this from the third like angle. I don't know so why like, that didn't go away. It should just go away. You can use the show if you want to, like it edits it. Things got dark all of a sudden. Yeah, I know. I warned him to stop doing what he was doing. He apparently did. Who? Well, Nickelodeon 1990, bro boy. Oh. He's probably just messing around flowing? with stuff. It's still flowing. I've got to get a bucket and just okay, stop you know the what? water. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is you're just going to have to. Where is my bucket? There is my bucket. Cool. If you do the clapping. Why is it not grabbing the water? Okay. All right. Let's do a sponge. We'll do the sponge. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's not even in the, he's not even in the, uh, the stream chat right now, so he's messing around. Oh, you got it. All right. Um, so I don't know if there is an actual flag in there, but that's fine. All right. I'm checking. We don't. Do we need it? Oh, I got so, it. You know, I got it. I got, got the this. flag. No, 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 sir. You're running the course. You're running. The course. I know. I, I just put the flag in. I just so that way it's there. Okay. Cheater. All right. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. I'm All right. right. All right, monkey. On your mark. Get set, go! Go, go, right. go, 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 go! And it goes through in one ear. Is he gonna make it out? Got the flag. Gonna the flag. No, he does not have a teammate, so he's gonna hop into I'm the I'm just thing. gonna do it. I'm going, going, I'm going. Hey, Ted! Dive right into the tank, grab Got the flag. That. He has to go into the soda jerk. Hey, the Burger 2's coming out in, uh, on Paramount Plus, y'all. Y'all should remember oh, that. There it is. There's the flag. Oh, and he got doused with the orange soda. Good job, Kale. Moves into the brick wall breakout. Fast as can be. Goes on to the Sunday slide where he can have a chocolatey fun time. Can he get down? Will he get down? I think he got down. He broke the flag. Now he can eat our cookie. And he has 50 seconds left. Hey, he is flags. making great timing. Well, he got two flags. How lovely. You still have to run the whole course. No, sir. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I got the flag. I did he got the, the flag. He's going to pull off the dot blip. Oh. And he has... Uh, 
Hey, there it is. Got it. <laughs> Finally um, got it. Did it in one second. Good job, monkey. I did the thing. Hooray. I did it in one second. That was so, fun. That was unique. That was fun. That's, uh, that's I think that's the first time I've actually run it, believe it or not. I think so. That's why I was like, you know what? Let's let him run it. I think that was the first time I've done it. Uh, oh, first time you ran it. I don't know, Fred. I have no idea. Anyway, so um, that is the Double Dare set, of course. We showed that off. And then uh, if you would continue on the tour, you would get to see... Some different stuff like production offices, control decks, all the different kind of editing bays and things like that. Um, you could come over here. It looks like somebody might have gotten rid of the Nick part. I just added that. We've got the makeup department with our uh, Lord Stick Stickly. He's hanging out over here. So if you know who Stick Stickly is, it's a popsicle stick, but he's uh, also our Lord and Savior. Uh, we've got the mirrors over here so people can get ready. We've got all sorts of fun stuff in here. We've got the uh, somebody, I, I forget who made a lot of this stuff, but this was kind of a collaborative Cobalt. effort with a lot of different people. Cobalt, Cobalt did some a lot of it. Um, yeah. So this was the Agro Craig prototype. It's pretty cool. Uh, we've got, uh, I forget what this is, this graphics department. There was the Nicktoons no production. So you could do voiceovers, there was the editing bay. All sorts of stuff up here. And I like I said, there's just so much in here. You just kind of have to come in and just, like, go explore. And then also there's the wardrobe. So you've got different show production stuff. And also, once again, you can see the different screenshots from stuff over the years. This is when we filmed an episode of Guts. Um, this was taken from the audience. I don't remember who took this one. Um, it's this person right here. And I just don't remember the name of the... Yeah, thing. Who was it? Is that QTV? No, it's no, not QTV. That's Grave Digger. That's Grave Digger. No. Yeah, well, that's the Grave it. Digger's on the left. No, but I the person on the right, I'm trying to remember oh, who this was. Edmund. Edmund. No, oh, that wasn't Edmund. No, it was oh, probably Orc. It was probably Orc. That's, yeah, it was Orc. Okay. That's it. That was Orc. Okay. Yep. Right. Organic Orc. That's who it was. Name was slipping for me for some reason. Uh. Wow. Such a view. All right, so, and then, of course, this is the gut set, which it's a closed set, so I have it kind of shaded off, but you would typically be able to see down into that soundstage. Uh, we can move on, and we can go to the next area, and actually, we can do this, because this is really cool. Uh, you can open the doors by hitting the button, and the door opens. Pretty huh. sweet. Another one of those Haslum cloning things, like, is absolutely insane. At one point, there was a Slime Time live set that was set out up here, and that was a, a Cobalt thing. Uh, the set is still here. It is just underground. So if we go straight down, you can actually see where we started to do the different facade paint jobs. So here's, like, the 2000s oh, paint gosh. job. And then if you go down even further, you can see the Slime Time live set right here. And we were doing oh, the same thing. This was going to be the cloning thing that we were just going to put, like, you know, up whenever we wanted to do Slime Time Live. And this is how we were going to do a lot of um, just giveaways and things like that on the stream or if any kind of, like, we couldn't decide what to do. We would allow the person who won to be able to decide what we do. And here's, actually, right here, here's the door that we just saw animate. You can see it right there. Pretty cool how it all works. Uh, let's see... I gotta figure out how I got it back up again. Where was the hole that I made? We need an elaborate system to get out of here. Oh, there it is. Found it. Will's busted a block and got me out safe and sound. And there it is. <laughs> oh, poor y'all. Poor y'all. Bye. All right. So there is that. And all right, so we've shown off that. There is the, the figure it out set. The rumble set so we'll go in here and we'll kind of just show this off we so um did. yeah the game lab there's not really much to see there we kind of saw it on the, the escalator so this was another <laughs> thing that i started working on um whenever i was coming up with different game shows we had the double dare set we had the gut set and we needed a third one 
And an idea that I had was figure it out. So I made this set. And the letters are missing for some reason, but um, their letter board is back over here. So people can easily grab whatever the, uh, the letters are that we needed for whatever talent there was. But the idea was that basically we would do this show just like any other one where people, we would have the panelists. There would be different people that would come out here. They would be sitting in the panelist spots. We would have the secret slime action. We'd have the actual slime. We actually have it rigged up here. And then you would just hit the button and then boom, slime would come down right on top of them. So it was all just like the show. It's all set up, ready to go. And um, we also had the clue train. So we had the actual track bed here. So we could have whatever whatever uh, mine cart with the thing. You could just sit there and you could actually uh, be the clue. You could have the charade brigade. You'd have the clue board, all that stuff. It literally was set up and this was... By far, the set, I mean, it was ready to go at this point. Um, we just never got around to doing any filming with it. But it did exist, and it still exists. And, and I then think a, it should exist. It should. And then down I here, this is Rumble. This would be Kelly's set. Really cool set, by the way. Um, this was something that he had planned to do and, uh, you know, just never got to it. Got all the different uh, banners for the advertisers, including Nick Buster Video. It's all right there. So that was something that he originally built. I believe it was on Endman's world at one point, and then he came over. And then that happened. Yep, and then that happened, and then he just <laughs> brought it over here. Basically, Endman got just like absolutely grief like every three days, and just came out and did it. So, yeah, Fred, it's been a while since you've been here, um, but good to see you again as always. The next thing we have here, this is the um, the Nicktoon Blast. So, of course, in real life, this was literally just a motion ride. And you would literally just go on and just sit there and watch a movie while your ride would just kind of, you know, bounce around. But um, this uh, is actually... I'm actually incredible. here. Hi. Um, yeah, this ride uh, is still going to be continuing, by the way. Ah, uh, yes. Like Toru is still here. Good to hear your yes. voice again. Yeah. This was Toru <laughs> continued this on and yeah. uh, there is the ride that you would go through. And I think it's, mm -hmm. I don't know, remember where it stops somewhere it's, down below. It's somewhere down below by Tommy's uh, place at the moment. That's where it ends. Cause I was writing it a little bit. <laughs> yep. It ends right about there. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, instead of just having a green screen, we decided to try to actually make the ride. So mm -hmm. uh, it is still there. And yep. still under construction. We got the construction walls still up. Um, yeah. Let's see. The next area that we can go to. I actually want to see the city because that has been. I feel the like. City. Yep. Um, is right. Updog still here? Up I don't. Updog isn't, but I've uh, I've been doing stuff recently. I will say. Oh. There's things yeah. recently. Well, we can go over to the city and then we can uh, go over to somewhere else. Uh, the other thing that I would show real quick, um, and this has changed just because we're in the area. This is where the Legends of the Hidden Temple set was. Um, I say was because in the last stream, we actually started moving it. Um, this was still under construction. Uh, but you can see we have the temple run kind of sitting back here and we had the moat. This was just a prototype moat just to see how it would work. Uh, but after they did the new version of it in an outdoor setting, I decided that I wanted to change that. So oh. we did that. And so that's moved to a different location where it's not currently. I don't think it's easily accessible at the moment. There might be a, a teleport spot. Uh, but this was NKCA. And this was the Brain Surge set. So if you've ever seen the show Brain Surge, you can see this that was, was a whole holiday. set that he made. That and he actually made something with it. Uh, I think he made a yeah. show at one point. Or at least he made a pilot on stream. episode. On stream uh, it was, I remember. I was the contestant there. Uh, yeah, he did do that on stream. I do remember that now. Yeah. All right, so we can head over to the city. 
Because I don't think there's anything else over here. If I recall, these were vacated because there was two stages back. Um, there was this one right here. 21, and I'm pretty sure this was vacated. Yeah, there's nothing in here at the moment. Um, I think I went Jeopardy. There. Yeah, originally I started building a Jeopardy set. Oh, and oh, okay, nothing's in here. Yeah, that was that was removed because somebody else was going to do something, and the, it, I don't remember what it was. It was like some kind of Mario Party clone, if I remember right. Like they were trying to do some kind of, like they wanted to do a game. It was a trivia game, but like it just nothing ever happened with it. No, no, that that happened before, and then we got rid of it, and then we had Jeopardy, and then he decided not to do it. He scrapped it, if I remember correctly. Where is the city at? I'm lost. It's right around Legends of the Hidden Tempe. Yeah. All right. So this um, is if up is up dog here. He is not okay. here. Okay. He he showed up and then he left and then he showed up and then he left. So um, I was pretty hands off with this. I had not a lot to do with this, so I don't even want to talk about it. You guys can all talk about it, Kelly. You know the most probably of it right now. So feel free to talk and tell people what's going on. What's up, Altex? It's, it's been very much a, a weird kind of process that kind of happened. And really, it kind of picked up and then kind of left off. It was it was in so many different stages where we had so many different ideas. But This was like the what? Really, the fifth iteration or the fourth? I don't remember. It, it, or, like we, we kind of kept doing stuff and really, you know, even here it was like kind of weird. But really, this is kind of what you're going to see most of the final product of, you know? Interiors, not so much, but exterior, definitely. And, you know, I kind of came in the last couple weeks, and I've been just trying to hammer it down everything I needed to do. But for the most part, it's, it's pretty much complete on the outside. It's just the inside that needs to be done. Nice. And really, a uh, big shout-out to Updog for really kind of heading the whole project in the beginning. And definitely Wills for contributing, and Eastwood for cloning stuff, and... You know, also just heading that too. And really, I mean, you just kind of, it, it very much just happens, you know? It's it's just so sporadic, you know? And there was definitely different visions, but in the end, we kind of came to Yeah, the, I mean, so the original vision was like, we wanted a city, like, because like people wanted to start making like different like retail outlets. Because Mr. Noon was like wanting to make like a, like a grocery store, like he wanted to make... Uh, a Toys R Us. He wanted to make a bunch of different things, and then we eventually came along to the idea of like, let's just make the a mall. city. And well, yeah, the, eventually a lot of those things went into the mall, which we'll get to eventually. But um, originally, that we had like some sort of city thing, and like a lot of these builds that you're seeing, these are from that original city. Um, so we've got the Nike store here. This is Slushy, which Slushy Wolf, I don't know. Slushy's probably not here. Um, but, uh, this was his, his thing, which obviously is a Slushy. Um, and of course, because, uh, you know, he's a furry, he added a tail to the end of it. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, and then, you know, we've got the Nike store, which, uh, this one was, who was this? This was Sonic. Sonic. This was a recreation of something that somebody else had made, but he put his own little spin on it. Um, and then, of course, the Good Burger. This was this was uh, modeled after the um, the movie version. So, and this was Mr. Noon right here. Uh, the Nick Stop. This was something I think, if I remember right, I created something like this originally. I don't know who did this design. Um, he probably did. He probably did this. He did a lot of Sonic building. Did. Sonic did much of the original builds in here. Yeah, yeah, he did a lot of the um, the original Nick City builds, or at least the 2.0 or 3.0. And then this is a Starbucks yeah. or Subway yeah, he made. Nick Music, he made that. Um, and once again, these a lot of these were recreations of builds that were done by like a YouTuber that does a lot of these different builds. But he just he remade them with his own spin. So um, a lot of really cool ideas. He did the donut shop. He did the KFC. Uh, I can easily get lost on this. Who did the Who did the Apple ever. Store? Uh, Will. I don't know. That was me. Will. Hello. Will's did the. I've not actually been in here actually. 
Um, so, so Sonic they, made the original Apple Store, and then I came in and recreated the Apple Store cube thing that's in New York. And that's oh. it. Have you heard of the game show Press Your Luck? Because I'd like to see that in the studios. Yes, I have seen oh, the show, gosh. and I'm a huge um, fan of Press Your Luck. Um, I like really the dope. older one, though. I don't really care for, like, Whammy or even, the like, the new one that they did. I like the old school one. That's my favorite. That's my favorite iteration of it, anyway. Is that even possible to do? I mean, we probably uh, were with, like, Redstone work. Big bucks, no whammies. You're I right. mean, yeah. you probably could. You probably I could. I know I hosted on Roblox. Um, I know I hosted on Roblox, so I could easily get a picture up and build a set. I mean, a set could um, be done easily. The way that I would imagine that you would do, like the, um, the, um, it, like the actual video board, is you would probably just superimpose green screen it into the actual show, and then light. you just you make like a I don't know, like an hour long oh, loop. There he is. Hey, and then you would just goals. pause it and whatnot. Yep, there's Haslam. Now, what I could do is also put an actual board in there. So it looks like Broboy right wants to show me something, so I'm just going to follow him real quick, as long as it's in the city. It might... Oh, boy. I don't know. I had, to time him out. I had to time him out because he was attention-seeking, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, he's going somewhere else. So, um, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, wait. No, he's he wants to show this. Uh, the new and improved Nickelodeon Slime Factory. That would be interesting. I, maybe he's going to start building this right now, and maybe he'll be done by the end of the stream. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, there he originally in the city, I think it was 2.0 or 3.0, there was kind of like a little slime factory uh, building that he did make, and it was actually a cool building. So Anybody remember the underground theme park? It's still there. It's still there. Well, it's still really? there. Is yeah, really? we'll we'll oh. go look, we'll go look at it um, after oh, we're done with the city here. It. So when Kelly, you go ahead and keep going here. If we go down, if we go down right to the end, you might see a recognizable build from the Nick City, which I also revived from the grave. It's a. It might be a sorry cafe. The Nick Cafe. Oh Lord. This was yeah. a. Uh, a fun little build. Now, the sad thing, I just want to say this real quick. The sad thing about Minecraft um, is if the world gets too big, you run into lag issues and all sorts of problems. If you add entities, it get, becomes even worse. So even things like paintings or like item frames and things that you put in the item frames, it can make an entire area just unplayable. The frame rate goes nuts. Like, well, this will be evident when we get into the mall because so many of these uh -huh. shops were so detailed with all sorts of cool stuff. And unfortunately, we'd had to declutter them a little bit just to make things work. And that's the sad thing because there was so many cool things um, that like it looks so plain when you go into them now in some ways, like all these item frames. They're like there was things in these things. So like I just want to mention that because like. People will look at this and go like, "Oh wow, like, it's a cool building, but like, there's nothing in it. There's like, there's no no, no detail, and like, so that's just part of it." So, um, I see the Nick Games. We have Nick Games back here. Yeah, I had to recreate along with uh, TT uh, a few nights back, and I was like, you know what? Let's just recreate it just for old times' sake because original one, I have no idea where it went. So that's just kind of we we redid the. Uh, the text and you know i think it looks much better than it used to do uh, used to look and overall it's something i also had to revive from the dead i'm trying to remember where where it would have been originally uh, it was in the mall for a little bit and then we transferred it to haslam's little area before yeah it it's a beautiful sign but behind it is an even more beautiful cliff face it's amazing it blends so well I don't know. Such primitive tools. I, I've been playing a lot of Java recently and just thinking about And back then you come back to Bedrock and you're like, uh, <laughs> can I go to Java, please? Remembering how I used to terraform with command blocks. So silly. <laughs> Crazy. But you know, I, it worked. Got yep. the job done. It, we used to have to do this all by hand. <laughs> we used to have to excavate it all oh, by hand. Oh, God. 
I like it's literally long. hours. Like I remember whenever we wanted to expand, like dig down the double dare set, the soundstage, like what now can take you like probably like five minutes tops, like on the worst day ever, five minutes tops, like hours. hours. Like we're talking like 12 hours, 13 hours, just to literally just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just to excavate it all it was absolutely insane. Well, um, I like this. Somebody made these facades. Like, there's nothing behind well, them, but it really well, well it's Hello. Uh, it definitely helps like make it look more like a city. I like yeah, that. this is gonna be the like where the news is done from and stuff, and also it's a facade to like cover the random mountain that's in the city. I like that. If that makes sense. No, it makes perfect sense. I mean, this is more like you go to like Universal Hollywood or something and like you go to like the, the street set and like, you know, you just have the buildings up there. So like it has something. So that way, when you're looking off into the distance, it looks like it's all part of the uh, the experience, as it were. One thing that I yeah. want to see if it's still here. I'm sure it is. Uh, yeah, there it is. So I don't know who did this. This might have even been Haslam. Somebody made this like tiny miniature version of the oh, city that was, that was yeah yeah me this thing is like absolutely ridiculous i love like somehow like you can actually look at this and you can actually see the city <laughs> like i don't yeah. understand how that was even possible because like the like the detail in like these buildings like are so like much and like i'm like how can you even make that on a smaller scale but i can actually see the city like i can actually visualize it based on this which is crazy yeah, so. it was a fun fixation for a bit, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> and just, like, all these buildings in general, like, they're all unique. They're all different. That's what I love about this build over here. A few different, like, standouts. I mean, there's the fishing club that me and Updog created right next to, like, the museum that has them created. Somebody made a fire. water tower. Oh, yeah, the water tower. Oh, by the way, while we're at the water tower, there might be a, a little... I, I did a little bit of excavation. And uh, if you if you go, there's a little tiny soundstage kind of facade over here. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh. Over... Oh lord. So... Huh. The Double Dare Obstacle Adventure. Oh, what's this? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Where? Oh my god. Where is this? A little at? bit of a renovation. A little bit. Where of, is this at? Uh... Where is this at? It's over by the newsstand. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, I... Oh, my goodness. Wow. Is oh, this... Okay, this so is this... All right. This was me. This was me. Is this in the actual place, though? Yeah, this was, this was right in it. I found it. Uh, this this was, was it. This was it. This is exactly... It was, it, was, it was exactly where it was. Because you huh. can see Cause the at... Astro World is was right here. Yeah, this was yep. Astro World was a thing. That was uh Sonic. Oh the my goodness. That's crazy that that's where that right that was. I mean it makes sense. This does feel like this would have been the right area because we did terraform it, this. It is because it was it was um, And you built it in the mountain. You built it in the mountainside. Yes. Yes. Huh. That's kind of funny. You can still see the dirt. You can still see a little bit of the uh the normal queue. Pretty much a lot of it got gutted out because it was above land. Uh, who made this oh, newspaper? Yeah. I've never seen this before. Uh, this this was well, Eastwood and Bungle. 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 It was the it was the two. It was the duo. Oh, I don't even know how you would, would make that because I would literally I would go around and I would literally put this like all over the place. Uh, Kelly, they it's, had it's a calling huge, you out. They had a huge. Um, they, it was Is it a map? It's it's literally essentially a map, and what they did map was they had one whole chunk, and they you know just made text big enough for people to read. Damn. Oh, this is so okay. So this dolphin propaganda. Okay. Yeah, that's big propaganda right there. That goes way back then. Okay. They that's crazy. <laughs> May the thirtieth, twenty twenty. Somebody yeah. had quarantine all over them. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> All right, so we are close by, so let's head over to Bikini Bottom. Oh, boy. Okay. And so for those who were curious when I mentioned earlier about the Hillenburg Arena, 
There's a lot this is where about. the uh, the arena now sits, and it is vastly different. Yeah, and I yeah, I remember when Bless was here. This yeah. a lot of this has been done me and Kelly. Um, Welcome to the I Bubble Bowl. I am proud of this Bubble Bowl, man. Huh. I am proud. Oh. I don't know how it's, long it, it probably took me like it took a weeks. stream or something. It took one of the last streams that we did. Because to do um, what? I was working on it before. Yeah, you, we were working on it before too. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, there no, was just, we had a moment where we were like I, I don't know what it was, but like I had a moment where I was like, I'm gonna work on the freaking bikini bottom. And we just like went with it and we did a whole stream with it and then we didn't touch it for the longest time. And then we came back and then we did it again. <laughs> And then we did like a bunch of roads. We started cloning a bunch of stuff, and then like all of this is here now. So that's cool. Um, at some point, this thing will be filled with water again. Um, yes. Oh, once we're finished. Yeah, once we're done. We're almost there. We're almost but there. I also remember like Eastwood trying to clone this thing, this uh, arena, and uh, oh, my oh gosh, <laughs> Ooh, that was a, that was a trip was and a insane. half. Is the ring to scale is the question. I mean, yes. so Haslum was working on something. I don't know if uh, <laughs> if it was actually, actually ever ever scale. finished, but like there was a working scoreboard. And so I think like Kelly might be able to comment more on this, but originally there was a Minecraft hockey league or something that was happening. And like we could have our own team if we had our own arena. And so we were like, let's yeah. build it on the realm. And so that's kind of yeah, where this stemmed about. from. But I think, uh, I think uh, for a lot of it, it was, yeah, originally we had the whole entire, we had a league. There was like a league that formed. And there, there's a few members oh. who still talk to me, but like, I don't discuss it because I think it's just, I don't know. I don't know if it's a touchy subject for some, but really that thing kind of crumpled up, faltered through, but we still have this, which, I mean, we can still do stuff. We can do I mean, yeah, we can make this multi-purpose. Yeah, I mean, you can we do can anything you want with it, really. I went with the water because needs a layer of ice on it to slide around. Looks like a bit bigger than one one scale. I'm not entirely sure if this is one one scale, but I know for Minecraft, like this, uh, this worked pretty well. This is, I think, this is ice, if I remember right. Yeah, it's packed ice. Yeah. Remember, we had like the puck. We were like yeah, the, the Haslam was doing something with a puck um, and uh, yeah. like the scoreboard. If I remember correctly, there might be another hockey rink on this uh, this realm that I was working on that might be a little more developed, but I can't remember because I had a fully working one in my own world. But um, yeah, and I know we played we, me and Kelly and some other fools. We all were playing some oh, yeah. hockey. messed around with it at some point. Yeah, yeah but. I don't think I ever got around to bringing it on down here. No need a layer. Oh, he's saying I need a layer of clear ice over the lines. Yeah, no, I would agree with that. Um, if we could somehow put like a clear ice over it so that way it's like flat and it's not carpet or whatever, um, that would be ideal. Obviously, it's not functional at the moment, so like it doesn't really matter, but um, yeah, I mean, that would be something. Uh, Monk of Blender trying to adjust the size of tiles in games next session. Can't find the button for it. They, um, they moved it. For some reason, it's not where it used to be. And I don't know why. And I hate them for it because I, it took me forever to find it as well. Um, it's in the settings. It's customization somewhere. It's somewhere in that area. And I don't know why they changed it. But. Uh, Wills, I bought a hockey rink map and I'm slowly turning it into a concert area, uh, concert yeah, arena. Yeah, that was like, it was really great. It was really great. Yeah, I, I, I did really something good. similar. I have. Um, we should do that with this. I mean, um, so yeah, I mean, literally, like, I think the only thing holding us back from reflooding this back over is like, um, just adding more buildings or whatever. Um, because, I mean, it's for the most part, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty well done. We, obviously, we can add more stuff and just we never got to it. But it's just easier to build when there's no water. That's the thing. Um, also, where is the Steven Hillenburg thing? Where did we put that? Oh, uh, the beach. That's over, yeah, that's over. No, it's more of, um, 
is by the beach. It's over by the pier area that used to be. Yeah. Oh, did we put it over there now? I know at one point we were putting it in the uh, the bikini bottom area, but like it just like no, we just never got always, to it. No, it was by the entrance. It was by the entrance. It used to be. Right here. Yeah, it used to right be here. by the bus or whatever. And here's Blue yeah, Island. Here it is. Oh yeah, we did that for like a stream. Other way, other way. Blue Island. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's the Halo thing right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at some point, we'll probably move this back over into Bikini Bottom um, once we flood it. But yeah, we made that uh, the stream after he had passed away from ALS. That was a uh, unfortunate thing to learn about. Um, I guess since we're in this area, we can go over to... This was probably the latest thing that we tried to work on. This is Toontown. Uh, and at one point, we were working on bringing in cars into the realm because obviously the realm is so big and we wanted to turn off creative so people wouldn't fly all over the place. So um, we do have a gas station over here. This is where we were going to kind of stage different cars that people could jump into. And... Yeah. Then this would be the entrance to Toontown, which for some reason I thought it would be fun to do some kind of play off of the Walt Disney World entrance. So that's why it kind of looks like that. Uh, you got to figure it out. Cool. There you go. Oh, God. The fanboy chum chum store. It's all here. So this would be the outline of the actual town. And Toontown essentially exists to um, have a place for all of the houses for all the Nicktoon houses. Because at one point we had a couple, but then we started expanding a lot. So we were like, let's just do Toontown and let's put them all in its own area. And uh, so we've got all sorts of different buildings. We've got, I'll just try to go through a couple of them. Let's see, this one is, this was built by Pilot. I don't remember, what was this from? Fanboy and Chum Chum. Um, I never yeah. saw that show, so I, I, I don't know. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Is it a shame? It's a big shame. Yeah. Ain't that a shame? So like you Let's need to go see. back to Paramount Plus and watch that. You're really missing out. Yeah. Watch it. Let's see. This one Elvis, is Elvis. the Frosty Mark. Uh, this one's Doug Funny's house. This? Oh. There's the original Toontown entrance and Doodle Bob. Remember when Me. Toontown was called O Town? Here's Doodle Bob. Okay. We've got Rocco's house from Rocco's Modern Life. And these are all just in kind of just areas because we this is like the cloning area where we were having things ready to move back to wherever we wanted to on the street. So it's kind of like the build area and whatnot. And then there's a boarding house from Hey Arnold. You consider SpongeBob really a part of the 90s, even though it only started in 99. I mean, technically, it's the 90s. I Personally, I consider it a 2000. But uh, because it was more part of the newer age of Nickelodeon, not really part of the 90s Nicktoon era. So that's kind of how I see it. Um, it's Tommy Pickle's house. Uh, this would be the treehouse. And I'm trying to remember which treehouse this was. And I can't remember. That was Slushy made that, if I remember right. Um, I cannot remember. For the life of me. It was a more modern day one, though. So that's why I don't remember. I think it was Fairly Odd Parents, maybe? It was. Maybe? Oh, there you go. Um, and then if we fly further into this direction, we are going to fly into the secret military base. This is the uh, Splat World military base. <laughs> so this was a thing at some point where it was like Cobalt and Eastwood decided that they were at war with each other. <laughs> and uh, so he decided that he was going to go all out and make a military base. <laughs> so, uh, yep, dude, our, our island. You can't, you can't build on one line. I remember that. The yep. And they just, they had these wars with each other, and I, I don't know. I It Funny. was all them. They did all this, so I just was like, whatever. As long as you don't build it next to normal crap, I don't care. 
Um, and then, yeah, so there was a plane over here by the hangar. I don't know if it's still here. Uh, yep, yeah, there it is. Kind of wow. off to the side. There used to be a runway, but I guess he got rid of that at one point. There was? I found it. He made a runway at some point. Uh, maybe he was retheming it. Um, that could be the air. That could be the, the the airport the spawn point. That would be cool. If we ever yeah. get planes out of the realm, and then QTV made this, if I remember right, this was like yeah, the donut. <laughs> yeah, the donut. It was like a security okay. building or something like that. Like yeah. kind of like the Pentagon, but like it's the hexagon. The Nicogon. Because of course, you know, Minecraft. So there's all of this stuff. It's just kind of it's it's just this is the stuff where it's like it's a far stretch. Like it's kind of Nickelodeon, but not really. Well, you know, so, it's a classic Nickelodeon military base. Everybody knows about everybody. The Nickelodeon like here's base. the Splat World. I guess what is this Splat the Air Bom one. the Bombardier Global Five Thousand Splat World Air Force One. It's my personal plane that I didn't know about. Wild awesome. Maniac, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, this is Oh, this is a concept. I like it. The Ukrainian Whisper is now following. That's me. I know, it's QTV. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, so like, okay, so what else is out in the ocean? Because there was ocean things too. I'm just look, looking to see. As I'm flying back towards I, where I believe this is where the city is. Things are kind of starting to spawn in. I don't know where you are. Am I in the wrong direction? I don't, don't think so. I'll just check. Look at those chunks. So I'm trying to find because at one point somebody made a monk island. That's what I'm trying to find right now. Yeah, I'm I, I'm over by. Oh yeah. The Monk Island? I don't even remember where that was. Okay, so I'm by Bikini Bottom. All right. So I, I know in the general sense where it's going to be. Um, it's going to be, would you say it was all that? Did it happen to have a Monk. giant monkey statue on it? Yes, it did. And here it is. Oh, oh it's that. Where she blows. Oh, yeah. There it is. It's the Monkey Island. So there this... This you guys made this, and I don't know when you guys made this. All I know is I randomly was flying around, and then I found it. That's all I remember about this thing. Yep, this was an updog thing. Made the turn. The great statue of monkey was built during the Cenozoic era. Monkey was believed to be a a god praised by the people of the realm he created. The statue was made through roughly three hundred thousand tons of stone and constant back-breaking mining. To this day, thousands worship the statue as it has, myst has mysteries still unknown to mankind. Th yeah, this is just one of the random things. I wouldn't just randomly show up. And then um, I think like you could go up in it, like there was something up here. Never lost yeah, there was like a throne or something. I don't remember what was up here at some point, but, like, it was a thing. Oh, lordy, lord, lord, lord. Um, and then there was a giant sun. Yeah, what's up with this? <laughs> I don't remember what this is about. Uh, I was just messing around with command blocks. <laughs> giant emoji sun with sunglasses. Yeah, it's... Uh, and it's, I, like, I right know. in front of the sun. You love to see it. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> It's just, uh, you know, just hanging out. For anybody that randomly flies around and, you know, just wants to see it. And then this would be your testing area that we got to at some point. And yeah, yeah. And there oh, was the, the way, boat. Adrian, do, you know that, do you know that weird, obscure thing that's just sitting over here? I have no idea what it's for. You are probably one of the only people who know. What obscure oh, thing? What? Oh, I always wondered what this is. What is this? Hang on. This comes from like 2018, something around that area. Watch Wait, this thing? Yes, I I think I've asked No. Um okay. So at one point there was somebody who wanted to make um well they they were this was a friend of Gravedigger if I remember. No, no, Gatekeeper. 
Um, this was Gatekeeper's friend, if I remember right. He had his own little world where he made a bunch of different games, like Minecraft games. And so this was one thing that he um, wanted to make over here because, like, it's a realm and more people would be able to actually play it. Um, so, yeah, you can actually go in it and there's different sections to it. And, you know, they're all part of this game show thing that he was making. So, um, yeah, it, it's all here. I, I don't know any much more about it. But this was something that, like, it was, like, it was a, a, a show that you would go in different stages. So, like, round one was, like, its own area. Then round two was its own area. Then round three. And then the final round or whatever. Um, so, yeah, this was just something that he had made. And we just never got rid of it, I guess. Um, it's still there. Um, what is this? Uh, it looks like a yeah. What? what even is this? this looks is like a cloning area. I bet you East would clone some stuff over here as a cloning area. Hey, look, it's the Mondo That's Burger. The Mondo Burger. We got the Mondo Burger. Hey. Oh, there's the old stage as well. And the Shore Shack. The Shore Shack is still there. Uh, yep. It's the old, I think, some stage that you made for the city at one point. Yeah. Um... I just want to say, now that I'm, like, ex well, not that experienced, but I'm good at building stages, that looks horrible. I mean, you know, everybody starts somewhere. All right, what is this? Ah, yes. It's the, uh... Oh, oh this is a Haslam thing, because I remember the giant yeah. block out of nowhere. So, if you go in here, I believe... This is the Skyblock Arena. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you come in here, it puts you in survival mode. And you can either spectate, begin the game, or reset it. And if you stand on one of these blocks, it'll uh, it'll sink you in. And I, I think... I think you need, like, everybody to be sitting on a block, and then everyone will get teleported. Can I and, get and blank to someone? I don't even know what that means. Know. He's spamming. I don't know what that yeah, means. It's all I know what this is again. I remember it was like the whole mini game thing that we gotta do. Yeah, if you go to the white biter, you can actually go to each and into each uh, mini game I made on the server. I think there's three of them. Uh, oh god, I teleported. Sauce, I went game. somewhere. I don't know what this is. It's random, yeah. but it's a thing. <laughs> Let's see. Where are you? Uh, what is it? Set game mode C. Oh, I hate how like you can't like hit enter anymore to like add the thing. Was it not set game mode C? Is that not how you get back to create? I, I think it was at player at S to do so. Uh, at oops okay. just vibin uh who is just vibin uh actually <laughs> oh he needs to be teleported yeah let's help him <laughs> let's leave him hanging there <laughs> Uh, let's see, there's Toru, uh, let's see, teleport. Okay, yeah. Oh, well, there's now just six of us. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? Uh... One, Where? two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, it's the six of us. <laughs> if you want to get them the round, now is the time. I mean, I'm not sure I what the know, command is to get back to creative. I think there might be a button to do so in my area. Monk, game mode, creative, and then... Uh, I got you, Monk. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, well, yeah, I'd yeah, love no. to stay in chat, but I gotta go. It's good seeing you all. <laughs> yeah, good to see you, too. So many memories.
all of Tim memories. Adios. May, may the, oh, I was going to say, may the Argus bless you. You would know. Cool, cool, Wills. Wills has said he's going to dip. Uh, still streaming around in an hour. He'll come back. Probably will be. Probably will be. What's going on, Senator and the Wild Maniac? Um, yeah, so that's the that's the Discord to the Monkey's Treehouse. So the Discord that we're in is actually something different. Um, that is... I had it right here. I kind of want to go in the mall and like redo some of these stores. This is the Discord for where we're actually at. Oh, by the way, you should probably give him, like, number or something. You got the finish. Uh, text him. Um. Alright, I need to get into creative. Let's see. Uh, command creative. Oh, this is the best. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I already did this, but let's try this again. Game mode C. I swear, I remember they had the command, like, work, like, it was a number. There we go. Or, like, just C. Or, I, th I think. I got it. I figured it out. It worked. Okay. Okay. Um, so the only thing that I can think of that's close by here is the, the grave digger area when he was working on the raceway. Get one of the CD8 expansion cards for the Series X. I mean, the Western Digital is coming out with one too, so, um... Might wait to see which one is uh, cheaper. And I bet you, if anything, those things are going to go on sale um, at some point, like for the holidays and whatnot. Stuck in survival. In yeah, I, still bought, I, I bought my Microsoft one for like 219 bucks. Yeah, I think... Uh, what in the... Okay, random uh -oh. village. Hey. I like how it's like trying to load everything in and like has just like randomness. Um, what is the wrong direction? Tank fighting. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, once we get to a spot where I can TP you, I will TP you. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. This is the downer with realms is because the draw distance isn't as good. And so you're kind of just like, where am I at? Where am I going? And I'm just going to teleport myself. Kelly knows just, where he's at. Yeah, you could just uh, teleport me. You could just teleport to me. There we go. All right. I got to get there now. Can you teleport me? And has. Oh, there he is. Okay. Monkey, can you teleport me as well? Oh, there you go. Thank you. Uh, there you go. Everybody just got teleported. I think. Yeah. Maybe do it again. Do it one more time. I got teleported. I don't think every made. I don't think everybody made it. I could be wrong though. Oh no, he did. Okay. All right. I think everybody's here. All right, so the next place, let's go into the Nick Six because this is something that we not everybody did. has seen. We already did. We didn't go in and watch the movies. Well, yeah, what movies are playing over there? I think movies work, right? We had to see, uh, yeah. we had to see what was, what time. So this is the five-year anniversary. The question was, is how long did it take you guys to make this? This is the five-year anniversary of this realm, so... Um, everything has been uh, done over the course of five years. And obviously there's like, there's been a hiatus or at least there's been times when like people haven't done anything over those five years. So, um, the timeline in terms of like when things happened is, I would say the majority of this realm was created within the first three years. Um, and then over the last year, uh, things are probably just a little bit different. So SpongeBob steps on a landmine. This is the first movie that we're going to get to see. 
Oh, these are actually working movies. I forgot. They're actually working movies because Haslam is yeah. a freaking genius. All right, so here we go. Okay. Movie SpongeBob steps on a landmine. Uh, to turn off switch and projector. All right, I got it. Uh, I'm gonna try Kelly's to... already there, I think. It's sometimes it's like. Oh, there it is. And now our feature presentation. Look at that. SpongeBob oh, steps no. on a landmine. Look oh, at that. No. Rip. He steps on a landmine. Please silence all rip, phones. Rip, back. rip, rip. Rip a Rooney. These movies are quite literal, by the way. <laughs> so, what you, what you see is what you get. Uh, the next one we have is Tommy Pickles' weird potato head gets fried. Hmm. I wonder what could possibly happen with this one. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at that. It's Tommy Pickles' head. Hey. And he got fried. Oh, no. <laughs> the things... <laughs> I, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Toru's heading off. Toru, it's good to see you again and hear your voice again. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. Hopefully, uh, uh, that is morbid. Indeed, it is. But I mean, you know, this is a product of its time, right? Uh, so, um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you again. Hopefully we'll do this in a uh, not-too-distant future. Arnold gets punted into the upper stratosphere. What do we think oh, well, this one is likely going to be? It's hilarious. More advanced than the rest of them, I will be honest, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I this one is. was pretty great. Look at this. There's Arnold from Hey Arnold. Oh, no! He's kicking a field goal. It's up. Will it it's be up, good? It's up, it is. No uh, and it's out of this world. Yeah, no, it's no good. <laughs> Rip. Poor Arnold. I love that his like his body is representative of like the uh, the table. That's flicker. Uh -oh. Yeah, it does it flicker. It does a flicker for some reason. Um, it's probably because there's so many things running at the same time, though. I still have some. I still have some running. <laughs> Did you already yeah. shut it off? Yeah, it should have. There we go. Oh, that's why Wait it was for... freaking out, because it was turned off. Wait for everybody, please. Why are you turning it on? The next one is Jimmy Neutron. And I think it's supposed to be J-I-M-M-Y. Uh, not J-I-M-M-I-E, but it's fine. Jimmy Neutron gets swatted. I wonder what this one's going to be like. Hmm. FBI, oh, open oh. up! <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! Poor Jimmy that Neutron. That was a little gory. I mean, you know. Uh, oh. He just does his magic. He just it does just, magic. you know, it just happened. It just happened. Alright, so that's the Nick Six Theaters, where we only have four movies, but it's fine. We don't judge. Now we're coming over into the Hollywood oh. district here. And this was also something that was a, a iteration that has gone through so long. Uh, so oh, many different changes, oh, so many different ideas, so many different visions, so many different owners. Like, I mean, this thing, like, it started with uh, Cobalt wanting to do, uh, what was it? It was iCarly? I think that was yeah. the show he originally wanted to do, and then he changed it up to a couple of different things. And then um, Keenan and Kale had his time of year. Yeah, I think that was what started this, was like we had a bunch of different productions, like a bunch of different shows we were going to make. Oh and, the and then we wanted a space for it. So um, The iCarly studio is actually here. Yep, the iCarly studio is here. And it's at Nickelodeon on Sunset. So that was kind of something that started this whole thing. It was like, well, if we're going to do Hollywood, we might as well start with Nickelodeon on Sunset. Oh, and... boy. Is this, is this my build? That is absolutely my build. Or it is not. A lot of it is bizarre. 
and then here's the sets. So if you come inside, you can see all the different um, you know sets for the show. I was never a big iCarly person, so like, I mean, if you like iCarly, you can probably recognize some of these places. If not, you may not. I don't know. But um, I I, rem I know this from like production photos. This is like an attic or something, maybe. That I don't is know. a studio. If it's a studio, that I mean, I, that, I recognize it. Gotcha. That's to me, it looked like an attic. So, uh, <laughs> at least when I looked at the uh, the production stuff. Sunset was used to outdoor. Yes, it was. All right. So. That is that stage. And then, of course, there's Studio D, which I don't think there's anything in here. Or is this Studio O? It, I don't know. It's there's D. nothing in it. it well, there's stairs that lead up, but I don't know if there's anything actually in here. Uh, no, there's nothing. No, there's nothing. A lot of it was uh, done by way of, It was just like a group project kind of thing where you just kind of... You dealt you dealt with the cards you had and we like we just like revamped everything. We made it like pretty much as accurate as we could. Like we yep. were, like we wanted to make the best that we could. And I, I think that it shows with like animation studio, like the new one. Yeah, this is the new animation studio. This was something that um, you know, obviously Nickelodeon moved from Sunset and then they put out this animation studio, which is this is what you can see right here. And let's see, where's the entrance? Here it is right here. So it's the entrance to it. And then obviously, like, you got this whole little garden area with uh, some food trucks. Um, you have this, the time capsule. This was relocated. And it's right here. And, of course, you can go inside and there's, you know, offices. There's all sorts of different things that's inside. And if we go through every single thing, there's literally, like, we'll be here forever. <laughs> so. Yeah. I'm picking and choosing the, the battles of what we kind of show off, but nearby there's also a parking garage. I remember when we did the stream where we started cloning a bunch of cars. Yeah. I remember we did that. That took, that was like a, a three or four hour. Yeah. One of, one of the things is the, the license plates and some of them have them. Some of them don't. We didn't make one for every single one of them. I'm gonna try to find some that actually have. Uh, I made some on the first them. floor, but they're like they have like they got names of countries that no longer exist. Is, names uh, of countries that no longer exist. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't see any license plates on these. I guess they're all on the first floor. All of them done with me. I think. No, I think the Batman one was done by someone. Yeah, else. here's I, one. Okay, she's sure. Cascadia. Europe. Out of time because somebody made the DeLorean. There is Free City of Trist. I, I don't know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If that's how you pronounce it, I did a good. But I don't know. It's European thing. Um, part of the renovation for Hollywood is we made this cool thing. And I was actually really proud of this. This was the coolest thing I think we made. Um, honestly, I go back and I look at all the things that we made that were unique and organic. And this is my number one. This is my number one thing that we made, I think. Um, that's rooted in real life. We made the Hollywood Hill. And, uh, it's like, you can walk all the way up. It's this cool little path that takes you into like the mountain. You go all the way up and then you get to the Hollywood sign. And then there's like the little radio tower. And then kind of like, there's like a little observatory cause you know, Griffith observatory. So, but the cool thing for anybody that comes in and wants to, uh, see what's unique about this place and what we do, um, another thing about the Hollywood Hills is they filmed a lot of TV shows and movies there. One of those TV shows was Batman 1966. And uh, here lies Batman long forgotten. Right in the Batmobile. Just kind of chilling. These are the fun things that uh, I like that make it unique. Too bad, so sad. Kelly 2K21. Rip. Rip Adam West. Rip Adam West. Yep. Another one of the Easter eggs that you'll find. 
Then we move on. We move on to the Nickelodeon. Well, actually, we can go right here. Because um, this was another pop-up thing that happened in fairly recent times. I think maybe like within the last, I don't know, 10 years. There's a boxcar diner called Carney's, and they turned it into a Nickelodeon theme at some point, so we added that. It's a cool little uh, boxcar diner that you can get on, and you can uh, get some food. Wasn't that where all of the, the food truck from Victorious was? I have no idea. And then the kitchen was supposed to be right here. Yeah, the kitchen was... Kitchen was in the separate boxcar. So that was just like a fun little Easter egg thing. And then now we have the the new Nickelodeon Hotel, which is the Nickelodeon Inns and Suites. This was the Holiday Inn. And uh, Home of that. Slime Fest 2022. <laughs> that never happened. Wait, it um, goes on the Holiday Inn. The Holiday Inn has not been there for a while, I don't think. I know that's what replaced um, this. Um, they have the Nickelodeon Punta Cana Resort, but yeah, yeah, this was the. Uh, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a Holiday Inn anymore. I, honestly, the fun thing, I'm not that far away from it. I should actually drive to it at some point. Um, and actually go see what uh what is still there. But there's the whole hotel, and then obviously there's you know some conference rooms, CR three conference room three. Um, if you were to go around the property, there is um, an outdoor Double Dare Live set. This was uh, created around around the time that we did one of the award shows, if I remember right. Um, Correct. There's a dunk tank. There's the Nick Transit. So Nick Transit, this was our original way of getting around. They had the different uh, teleportation pads that would lead you to different areas. Um, so that was that. Um, I don't know what this was supposed to be. This was Nickelodeon Slime City. I don't. I don't honestly know much about that. That was Cobalt's thing. And then there was the bowling alley. This was in the city at one point. This was a recreation from uh, Sonic. It was a cool little bowling alley. Pretty cool. And then on this side over here, this was the annex sort of thing. So this was like the communal area, uh, the family suites mall. And this had just Studio Nick, this is where they had Double Dare Live. This was something that they did at the actual resort. They had like a little Double Dare thing, which if you go on YouTube and search um, Nickelodeon Resort Double Dare, you, they, somebody actually filmed the entire last episode that they shot there, which is really cool to actually see, go back and watch it. Um, he made like a 4d theater. There was like a spa. There was like gift shop, um, restaurants, all that kind of stuff. So another thing that you've just kind of got to go around and you got to explore. Cause like I said, if we go around and tour everything, it's going to take years to be done with all of it. I'm sure I've asked this before, but it's been a while. So asking wouldn't, uh, wouldn't getting a normal external SSD for any current Xbox console instead of I don't understand the question. Wouldn't getting a normal external SSD for any current Xbox console? I don't. I think he's. I think he's talking about like a, a regular external SSD where you can plug it in. Be part. But I don't know because you have to use the uh, the storage expansion. Yeah, if you want to play Series S and X games, uh, the ones that require like the uh, faster storage, you have to use the Western Digital or the Seagate thing. If you are just looking for storage, like, yes, you can use an external SSD. I've got one sitting right here. And uh, basically, you can use that for any other kind of games. Xbox One games, 360, OG Xbox games. And yes, they will load faster. Uh, but for using the specific Xbox Series S, Series X games, you have to use that uh, dedicated uh, storage. So here we are at the Nickelodeon Mall, and, or the Splat World Mall, and you can see some posters on the wall here, some screen grabs, some you've probably already seen, some you may not. Here's when we originally broke ground. This screenshot was from when we originally broke ground. 
um, on the actual grounds for the mall, which went through like three different iterations before it finally came to the one where you're seeing right now. And originally it was like a tiny little like, um, kind of like, uh, like a, a square, like a, I don't know, like a little cross or something. Um, then it evolved into something else. And then we decided that we were going to recreate it into the mall of America. Cause at the time that was the only place where you had the Nickelodeon mall until the American dream mall opened up. And, uh, so yeah, the idea behind this was we were going to have it filled with shops that were basically shops or stores that no longer existed. So that was the original Genesis of the idea. So you've got different stores in here. There's the book off, there's the bank, uh, there's the Apple store, there's the Foot Locker, there is a Marvel store, which I love this store. This is my favorite store. If you come in here, like, I don't know who did this, but like, you've got like these Iron Man things, you've got uh, there's Spider Man. You can see Spider Man hanging off there with the web, which is really cool. Oh. Um, just, I don't know. Like, this one was really creative. I, I loved this one. Um, Eastwood and Kelly, um, have this one. This was the winner of the favorite mall build and rightfully so. Cause that one was really, really cool. Uh, supercar central. If you want to go into there, there's the blue Mart. The blue Mart was just a bunch of banners. Cause at one time blue was making a lot of our banners around here. And so you can kind of see them in there. Forever 21, if you want to go check out some of the old teeny bopper clothes. Uh, Montgomery Ward, I think it actually still exists, but I could be wrong. It's online no. only. Online only at this point. Yeah. Dunkin' Donuts, there's a Toys R Us, which we'll go in there in a second. Starbucks, Sony, there's a Nintendo store. There is Nanco's or Nando's. We're going to have to do Bed Bath & Beyond really soon. <laughs> Oh, Frozen yogurt. There's a Target. Four 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 tickets dot com. We have a Funko Land in here. We've got what else do we have? This used to be a Sears, but you know Cobalt didn't want a Sears in here. Yeah, Toru's Pet Store, uh, Banner Store. So this is where we basically this is our one stop shop to get banners. So anytime we need letter banners, we just it's all in here. Grab them from different colors, different sort of things, and away you go i spend my fair share in this building or in that that store uh it's the GameStop. there's lids there's a 7-eleven we have a 7-eleven in here if you want to go to 7-eleven that's a thing uh verizon store radio shack there's a tesla store the chill which is basically like a rest area you can just kind of do whatever uh there's a hallmark there's a lego store there's the nick merch store there is Anime Atka, Akita. I don't know if it's Atka or Akita. Men's Warehouse. The Microsoft Store. We can go in here because I made this one. Yeah, I know what used to be right here. Uh, and what? It was the second store to FYE. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know so, what my... You can meet Master Chief today. My, um, I don't know what my fad was with two-store buildings, but... I mean, it was just a way to get a lot of space. Got the slime box PC, PC one, the the honey box, and of course the blocks are made out of honey or slime. So, that's the joke, that's the pun. Primary red, primary green desktop. You know, just some different kind of things. I had one here that was. Where is it? Oh, the Alienware seventeen R seven. I don't know why we made some of those. Where is it? I had one that was like a million dollars, and I don't even know where it's at. Maybe it was I over here where I, the honey box was. I think I removed the, uh, too it was like things. solid gold or something. I don't remember. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Sorry. Uh, we got the UPS store. We got the food court. Uh, I got the toilets. Elevator. Ele so elevator is cool because it actually works. Well, That's a fun little thing. Yeah, ATT, it's Hot what? Topic, oh. Cold Stone. Payless, Circuit City, Kodak. Uh, there's the Nick Buster. Lego store again, because that was a two-story. Nick Transit, the Tim Hortons. Nike store, FYE. Um, and the Target. So 
which I really want to put back into a series. I mean, at this point, it's already done, so it's like, why change it? Um, so here's the Toys R Us. You got the wheel in the middle. It's kind of cool. It does rotate, or at least yeah, uh, you can sit on it, and it will rotate you, or at least it used to. See, like, now it's actually rotating me around. Or at least it's supposed to, but, like, it doesn't always work. I don't know. It's really finicky, but it was still kind of cool for the time. It was something unique. Uh, what else is there? Oh, I could show off this side of the mall. Because this is actually pretty unique. Yeah, maybe if I stopped flying, it would probably do it. Over here, we have the Sega store. Um, because this they used to have a Sega sort of like arcade at one point. And somebody made that. USPS for some reason. All right, uh, guys, I'm going to head out. Uh, cool, cool. I got to do. It was great oh. hearing from y'all. Hopefully, we can do this more. Oh, Cobalt is in the way. Hi, Cobalt. Yeah. Huh? Hello and goodbye. Goodbye. Nice to see you. Goodbye. See you later. Bolt, can I hear you? Let's you see. There? What else? Oh. <laughs> we went through most of it, I think. There's not really too much that we have key. left. I mean, more. Yeah, more. the only thing I can think of. Um. If you really want to go to Production Central, you could. I mean, I mean that's where I'm oh, flying yeah. to right now. Because originally, I'm going to go over to the city and see the uh, the underground city, what remains of it. Wait, Monkey, did you see Media City? Uh, that's the Will Estate, I think. Um, I think Will's, yeah, yeah, I think Will's. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. What, Will's this thing? There. Yeah, you have to teleport there, however. I think it's at the Grand Central Station, if I... Somewhere. <laughs> over to Will's giant area? Um... Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's not there's nothing really Nickelodeon themed over there, so like it's not really like I remember anything my worth. Podcast, yeah, <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, I mean, he was gonna do a lot of different stuff pr producing out of that uh, stage, and yeah, but it got abandoned. Like now he won't. You know, oh, let me see here. Um... There's a teleporter. Actually, I'll tell you what. I, so, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the city, or at least where the old city was. Um, I think it was about maybe right here. What do you mean? Oh, right. The, the what's it called? The beginning bottom thing. There's also like an old sign that says "Old Town," like the old name for Toontown. Um, it's, it's somewhere like in here, if I remember thing. right. It got cloned, I think. You still kept showing it to me, wasn't it? But we never. I think we what we did was we had it, and then I think what? we cloned it away, and then that was just like we didn't know what to do with it. I, it could so actually be closer. No it actually might be closer to the water. Um. I think it's uh, somewhere, somewhere. somewhere here actually. The old town. If you want to see, you want to see the old town. It's somewhere mm -hmm. over here. Must have gotten filled over. It's Easier if you just. Uh, it's, it's still there. Remember, it's still there. But uh, you have to find it. So I, <laughs> well, yeah, I it's I know it's here somewhere. I mean, yeah. unless it got like removed when this Grand Central Station came in. I remember it being somewhere right here, though. Um, I just have to think, like, fourth dimensionally where it would have been and, like, what we built over to put it in that spot. Remember how there was, like, the, what's called, the World Cup thing? Yeah, that was right. This was the same area. Oh, there's a See, the problem is, is we've gone through and we've, like, smoothened out the rough edges, so, like, it's really hard to pinpoint where it would have been. Uh, oh yeah, I found it. I found it. Okay, uh, it's uh, the PG bottom thing, right? That's all that you wanted. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm looking for the old um, underground city. Yeah, it was definitely. Oh, it, um, it broke. Somewhere. It was somewhere. Oops. 
Uh, it might be right where I'm at. How do I fix this? Sound size? I fix it. I found it right below Grand Central Station. <laughs> Uh, where is Andesite? Uh, Andesite's my favorite block. Oh, there we go. Uh, like here, down here, yeah. Oh, yeah, he found a portion of it, I think. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's here where the old town is. If you go, it's the old town. I thought, no, yeah, this was the... The first person I made. I'm at O-Town, I'm at the O-Town sign. Oh, there you guys are underneath. No, it's uh, the actual sign from the ground here. If you go by this, the, the, the well, plaques are the still here. Stuff the, the, the it's still here. It's still here. It's crazy. Uh, teleport me. Oh, you're here, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, so this was the track. I made a track. This was part of like the it's whole here. underground subway thing that this was going to take you all the way over to Toontown. The sign at is still one here, point. Like M1A. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Done, it, it probably done. did. It wouldn't I surprise me. Found wait, what's this like road that has like green uh it's called concrete powder? Let's say this also was some kind of road it was cancelled or something. Over it's where road. It's here the, where the old town sign is, the other side of the tunnel. Let me go check. If you go outside here. Uh it looks like an old Kind of mixed city kind of thing. Yeah, this is Sam at 1A. This is like crazy. The sign is like three years old. Oh, five, five years old, right? Yeah, like Where? Years. Sign, the old town sign uh, here. I'm like, yeah, you. I'm like literally right above. I'm like right next to the O town sign. No, 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 underground, the original one. They, they're still here, like underground, like where the tracks were. <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to find where you are. Just teleport to me or whatever. Uh, let me break it around and I'll... Here, I'm above. Okay, you are <laughs> Chaotic. Teleport. Remember, um, uh, how long have this... To... Alright, let's yeah, see. Here, this. Okay. The money shot. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So this was the original stairs that was. Okay. Yeah. I know where this is. This was the. So this was like City 2.0. And this is. So Toontown was originally going to be O Town because a lot of the buildings that we were making was more Rocco's Modern Life themed. And so essentially what we did was we wanted to have a track that would lead to the underground Grand Central Station, and this was just kind of how we did it. Um, and we wanted to have all the areas separated at one time, so that's why we did it underground, because we didn't want them to be all like right on top of each other. So, um, yeah, if you follow this track all the way, wow. it okay. should take you right to... Um, I mean, you'll go underwater... The river is there. But again, it's still crazy. It's still here. Five years later. This is the craziest part, like to me. Yeah, so here's the underwater. So this is where it would have ended up, and then you would come out, and then you would be right here. Yep. Bolt, I can't hear you. You're muted. Uh... I'm muted? Oh, Cobalt is. You have uh, Cobalt in chat. trying to dodge or something. I don't know. Oh. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much, I'm, I'm trying to think of what else there. And my area. And my area. Did I mean, you see that? a bunch of other stuff, but. I mean, it's I it's crazy. Really... It has like so much sets in it, like for his shows he did. Uh, I mean, yeah, teleported Grand Central. yeah, there's like, uh, and man had it as his own area, still has his own yeah. area. Um, there's the Splat World City Hall. There's it's the. Monk Boy 2020 that was made. Uh, yeah, we just got done showing off the Nick Mall uh, not too long ago. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else that we haven't really seen.
seen that I mean there's the Dr. Seuss area which I mean that's cool in of itself uh the roller coaster especially um oh, did you see the underground part of uh, where the like studio 44 was like the explosions that's not to see but still <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's all built over at this point is no, it's still under there. Remnants, remnants are still there, I think, if I remember correctly. It's been a yeah, if you go to Nice though. Park, you can see. But did you show the Nice Park? <laughs> yeah, who, we never figured out who made this roller coaster, did we? It's on the, uh, somewhere on the thing. It says, on my Twitch. Wa made by Wash Coronet, Rocco's Rocky Roller Coaster. Please don't break. Never did. But it was broken at one point, no? <laughs> huh. I mean, I'm sure it's rideable, too. I mean, it looks like it would be. It's a full circuit. No, the main problem with mine cards is that they're very, very low. Yeah, whenever you go into any kind of, like, an angle, like, it just gets really goofy. Not really, but, like, I mean, like, the speed is, in general, like, it's, it's very slow. Like, even, like, a power rail, it's, like, very slow. Oh, here's the castle. Here's the Wait, uh, the, the, the Disney oh, castle. The boneyard area. Yeah, the boneyard. Is this what we called it? The boneyard. Yeah, we called it the boneyard. It's basically got like all of the uh, the old things that were like gonna be built, but like never got built, or like just like things we wanted to save, but like had no use for. Like here's what this was the the Gunga Ginga Lounge. What? So, like, if you look at it, like, you're like, huh, that looks kind of like the Guts set. It's because it is. Um, they decided at one point to make a little lounge inside of the uh, um, of the soundstage that was just inside the set. And it was just randomly there. And apparently it's got a monkey beating stick. Um, it's got the... Somewhere. Yeah, this is the RR Gunga Ginga Lounge. No monkeys allowed, which, guess what? I'm here, so... Um, yeah, that was something that got saved because eventually I had to change the layout. And so they were like, you got to save this. It's like, I didn't even know it was there. Uh, so I remember that. Um, wait, Monica, did you see the, like, um, if you go to Nickelodeon resorts, uh, thing, uh, if you go to like the, like entrance thing, you can see like, and like the down, like find the old like mall that was like there. Like that. It's uh, uh, some stuff that remains. There was the old there. parking garage that was down there. Oh yeah. Because well, originally no, we were gonna have the parking garage, garage underground, and then that changed. Oh, it had oh, also floors. Um, I remember. This used to be the old big time rush set. Yep, right. that was the old big time rush set. I remember that. Wait, what's come? I don't oh, think there's uh, anything there anymore because that got like oh, built over. Yeah. No, it's, um, it. no, you can see like the the general floor layout, but that's kind of it. And I guess the road. And yeah, it's fun, I, I suppose. Oh. Just have someone building up this oh. orange box here. Um, what's this? Oh, it doesn't show it here. Okay, see. <laughs> Going over water, and I don't even Wait, know. Wait, did you see these stores that are next to the mall? I thought you went to the second one, but not the other ones. Because there's like some fun stores. Which other ones? For example, like Blue had this small wars thing he was planning. Yeah, Blue but had the mall it never happened. Mall war thing. Yeah, I remember that. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of other remnants from different eras that just kind of collide. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of different stuff all over the place. Um, What's my star here? The cave. This, I think, this was the. I'm trying to remember what this is. There's something that leads underground over here, and I guess this is because it. Oh. This was the original river. Uh, this was the original river, I think. I guess that's what that landmarker is for. I'm not sure. That's my only question. Is like, what's that for? Monkey just remembered. Uh, I remember Cobalt built the Nickelodeon Studios gift shop and underground. He had to rebuild it, but he still has the underground like, section there. If you like, break yeah. blocks. Yeah. Here's the speedway. So this is the Splat World speedway. This was uh, Gravedigger's thing. 
um, was he was getting into, well, he was always into racing and monster trucks and things like that. Um, changed his name to TF Sports. Um, and yeah, this was like a, a speedway that he came up with the design where it was like you would race boats, but they would like be like cars sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a cool little thing. Uh, we did like one or two races, I think. And I think he actually posted the videos on his channel, but I don't know if they're still accessible or not. Um, uh, something to have to go back and look at. Did you see the cemetery? Yeah, Toru was mentioning in the chat, though, the what would you do? That thing that uh, she was working on at one point that wants to work on it again. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Remember the... <laughs> Wait, is that a skeleton? I, it's something. I don't know. It's like the mask thing from Pancho Kazooie, but like all like burnt and it's red eyes and... Like Text is like, like all blown up. We are hiring. Yeah. Join the Discord for details. You. Yeah. yeah, the only other thing that I can show that we haven't really seen yet was the where the new Legends of the Hidden Temple will be. Oh. Did you make it? You made it? Okay, English. Yeah, this is the only thing that has not been seen yet, really. I what mean, aside I from the last stream that we did it, when we yeah. created it, which was about a year ago. Um, yeah, this is where it's at currently. It's off kind of in the distance. Cause like I said, they, they redid the show. Like they canceled it. Like they only did like eight episodes or something like that. It was crazy because they were going to do a season two and they were going to actually bring back Kirk Fogg. And it was like, Ooh, that'd be cool. That'd be interesting. And they never did. So, um, oh. Oh. Ah, wait, I remember that, yeah. And I think it was meant for Quibi initially. A, yep. Like, weird fail thing. And I was inspired because I had gone to the American Dream Mall, and I, like, I didn't go on any of the rides at the Nickelodeon Universe, but I saw this, like, giant tower where they have the Legends of the Hidden Temple thing, so I was like, that'd be kind of a cool little, like, game piece to add into it. And, you know, put that like in the middle of it somewhere. And, you know, this is just kind of where we had left off. And man was starting to make like some steps of knowledge and stuff like that. I mean, probably redo any of that, but um, he kind of started to make some stuff, but we just cloned over the temple. So, um, yeah, it's kind of where it's at. Kind of where it's mm -hmm. at. Thank you. He was talking about uh, Kelly about the episode of Guts, like canceled one. I remember there was like one more episode of Cuts that was cancelled, and it was, it had, I had the, the, you had me as contestant, and uh, I remember uh, the reason why we didn't finish it was because um, for some reason my like Plato skin went crazy, like for some reason it was like all like leashed up and like like, it, like like sit like like I sat down like like lay down, or, <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. It was like weird, and we couldn't like do it, and like we never did it again for some reason. I think this was uh, when you were having phone problems, maybe because I think yeah, yeah. at that point you were yeah you were still playing on the the phone. I don't know if you still are or not, but um... no, no, not anymore. I don't have Minecraft. <laughs> Thank you, Mo Mojang, for having uh, Bedrock now built in with the Java edition. Now I can play. Bedrock yeah, on... yeah. Now it's all yeah. the same thing essentially. Um, but well, yeah, I remember I mean, that being yeah. a thing. Um, I don't think anything was ever really filmed, if I remember right. No, no, again, like, the problem wasn't the phone, it was, it was my skin, like, my player, like, model, like, glitched. Yeah. Like, I never saw this again, like, problem, like, ever. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty weird. We did finish it, actually, like, if we get the other two players. <laughs> I'd love to do it. <laughs> yeah, at now. some point, at some point, I will do another one. Um, like, like I said, so I was on a charity stream with Tugi24, who's not here right now. Um, he is over in, where is he at? He's over in like Switzerland or someplace. Um, he's doing commentating for a, an uh, NHL esports event right now. But on his charity stream recently, uh, yeah, Finland, I couldn't remember. Finland, Sweden, one of those places. Um, but uh, part of the charity stream was like if he raised a certain amount, he would have to play Minecraft and he would have to be on an episode of Minecraft Guts. So 
That was part of it. Oh, that's right, Sinland. I forgot. That's where that meme came from. Um, so at some point, um, he will be here. He will be on an episode, and I will be filming another one. When yeah. that happens, I have no clue. I've been waiting for him to give me a date and a you know when he's available, and um, who all is going to be on it. So like once I get that done, like like I feel like I can do more of these things again. It's just like. Who's around? Who wants to do it, and all that kind of stuff too. And that, of course, Kelly's got it. it like the episode, I don't, I don't know if you're done with it, but oh, I am. Uh, it should be somewhere. I think I can link it. And okay, but you, do you have the footage for this, like my episode, Monkey? Like, what do you, uh, you did record some of it, but very little. Uh, I'd have to look. Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, because okay. it was so long ago. So, I yeah. mean, I usually archive a lot of that stuff, but if it was like, if it was like a totally scrapped, unusable episode, I might not have it. I would just have to look. Um, cause I, if I go through, like, I literally, I have all the raw files for every episode I've ever shot and produced and like, you know, uploaded, like all of that stuff I have. Um, I just don't know if I have it for that one because I don't think we got far enough into it where it was like worth like keeping any of it. Um, uh, oh, we have now lost media. <laughs> I mean, that would really be a lost episode if that's that's the case. But yeah. um, funny too, especially like my deformation, like really, like my like it looked like really like I like lay down on like my chest, like my plate or that. Yeah, it was weird. I remember that. I remember that being a thing. And and I, the skin was like all garbled, like invisible, but like some of was visible. It was like, like I never saw this before. Like, ne never. I almost like, wonder if that turned into the one where Kelly was on, I and think, that's yeah. the one that Kelly edited. I think that might yeah, have yeah. been it. Oh wait, no okay. Because yeah. Kelly, we replaced yeah. somebody. Wait, there's an archive. Okay, I'm gonna look at the archive. Let's I think see that. Something like Wills or something. something like no, I. Where is it? Something. Honestly, I have to. I have to go back and look. I have to go back and look. I think it was 2020. 2019, I think. Recorded this. Where is it, Kelly? In your archive? Do you know? I. I just haven't touched it. I've been. Like sometimes it I touch sucks. it. Sometimes I don't. It. I'll just kind of just wash away. Kelly, uh, you know, I'm suing you. You stole the name from my archive. Hey, okay, I, so. I gave you, I gave you credits in the credits section. I did. I really oh, did. I did. Nice. Because, okay, for those who don't know, I once tried to make an archive called Spot Archive. We should have, like, uh, photos of, like, Nick Studios and, like, videos and stuff like that. Yeah. I never really got around to, like, doing it. I made, like, one version, like, five photos and that's it. <laughs> I never did my. my Are you my, talking on the Discord? Uh, well, well, it was in my one, one drive, actually. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That, but yeah. But then I, I kind of, I, I was like, you know what? I have a bunch of photos that I just never really got down to like editing and whatnot. So I was like, you know what? I should just upload them all into an archive and just be done with that. And so I did. That's the way to do it. Stick it in like a OneDrive or a Google Drive or something and yeah, just leave I, it. I sticked it into a Google Drive. It's in Realm History. And it's just all kind of there. Fun. Fun. Be in there. Oh, there's so much screenshots here. Wow. I must have used OneDrive. I bought from the 365 subscription. I have yeah, if you have a 365 drive. subscription, like you could just do that. That's pretty much what I did. For a while, I had all the... Um, the uh the actual realm backups i had all that on the one drive at one point um now i just have it on a separate hard drive that like it just never gets used it's never touched so um that's where all of them exist now but um originally i had them all on the one drive at one point i can't find the episode in your archive Kelly. did you put it there it's it? in the notes or something it's Somewhere around the notes. No clue. Like. Is this here? Save file. What is save file? Uh, um, it's in the readme. I put everything that oh. is in there. All there. Yeah. Me, okay. Well, I feel like we've gotten to the point where we've seen everything. We've done everything. Oh, Mikey, I... remember the power stream? <laughs> 
I mean, I don't know what else to do, and there's also no one here anymore. So. I know. <laughs> Everyone's like here, and then they're, you know, they, they come and they, oh, they actually, gone. Actually, there is one last thing that I forgot to mention. What? It was, uh, oh. let me, uh... Oh, there's Cobalt. Cobalt's out in the chat, hanging out. Let me share this with you. I nearly uh, choked on chat with that. One. Let me send this to you. It's a video that Eastwood wanted me to send. I'll put it in discussion. We never really got around to it because everyone was like talking or not. But I think remember this trailer. I think. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, it wasn't finished. Never mind. I, 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 it was a trailer for Spot World. Oh, is this? Uh... It is a little message that Eastwood wanted me to do, and I on I was I was like playing Bed Wars and I forgot to. Fully finish it, but most of it's there, I think. Let's what see. do you mean, uh, Kelly? What do you mean? The voiceovers are awful in Cuts episode. It was just happens. awful. It was just it, there's a. It just couldn't. I couldn't even like. I couldn't even bear to put that all of the audio from. The oh, like we said. I mean, good. not yeah, I wasn't there, but I mean, they said something like like nasty or something. Yeah, All right, so good. I'm gonna. I you want me to play this video? Yeah, because these would want me to. These would want me to do that. All right, let me see if I can figure out how to add this here. All right, let's see. Going black screen. All right, here's the video. This is seven minutes long, and. Uh, oh. I'm going to deafen myself while I listen to this, and uh, I will come back right after. Hi guys, uh, my name's Eastwood, and I have been on the realm since 2019. March 2019, to be specific. Um, I joined between the first and the second year, so I've been, I've been around for quite a while, and I, you know, I'm, I ended up being a moderator. I work quite closely with Monk and Kelly. You know, I just wanted to share my experience with the realm. When I first started on the realm, you know, I I was here through Wills. I was just here to chill around, have a good time. And one of the things that I was first asked to do, you know, I'm quite good with redstone, so I made a lot of the chases in in guts and double death. So I immediately really felt part of this community. And I guess, you know, I'm working on Redstone, I would uh, then moved over to looking at some commands, and I was really looking at trying to fix up areas and help with Redstone and make the functionality really work. Uh, the old days, you know, I have a lot of memories, you know, mess messing around on old builds, you know, just coming in, and doing stupid things, messing with people, the jokes and all the laughs. Uh, and one of the first, like, oldest memories I can remember was when I accidentally carved a massive hole into a mountain when I was trying to move something. And I uh, ended up having a massive panic attack because I didn't know what to do because I'd broken the rules of messing with mountains and rivers. At, at the minute I'm looking at the massive realm map which is made by Kelly and I'm looking at all the districts and areas that I've had my hand in. And I'm look I, I start looking at Nick Studios and I'm thinking, you know, we had the map, I started on a different iteration to the one we're on now, you know, I remember tearing the whole thing down, moving it, moving it, building it all up, building up the new iteration, and then I'm, I'm looking at the uh, Splat Central, the, the spawn area, and I remember, you know, it's completely different to how it used to look, it used to be a city with this massive cool underground area, uh, and now it's it's ended up turning into a spawn area with a park and a fountain and this in the monorail system, and I I really think you know back back when we were working on it in the early days, uh, and I I was coming along for the second iteration of the city and we were just building you know we were just placing blocks, one block after another cracking jokes, and just having a good time and. You know, I, I became a moderator and I started, you know, working on helping lead projects. And one of my earliest memories was the first KCA. And I was really good when I didn't win an award, even though I'd only been on the realm for like a couple months. Which I thought, I think back now, and that was actually quite funny. Uh, I'm 
I then move over to looking at Bikini Bottom, and this is a completely different place to when I first started on the realm. You know, when I first started it, there was a couple of the houses that are still there, the anchors were still there, Spongebob's house, Patrick's house, uh, Squidward's house were all there, Krusty Krab was there. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking that, you know, one of my, one of the big projects we did and we had a load of people come in was the Bubble Bowl and we made this brilliant hockey stadium across about five days. And even though it's not perfect, it's not quite symmetrical, you know, there was just a group of us just absolutely attacking it. And it was those memories that I really do quite miss. Move, moving around, I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing a lot of other builds. I just had a, a hand in, you know, I don't think there's a build on the realm, really, that I, uh, or an area that I haven't placed a block in. Uh, I, I think that's, you know, it's really special to me. Um, I'm looking over at the mall, um, massive project. It took almost a year. That was one thing, you know, where anyone and anyone could get their hands dirty. And, you know, we, we were all working together. Again, it was a massive sense of camaraderie. And we were, you know, thinking, oh, what can go here? What can go there? And just moving around and trying to make it all work. And then the, you know, the, uh, the Hollywood district where, you know, we really started cl doing cloning and stuff like that. Um, but there's, there's also, you know, I had, I had my own areas where I was working. I had the old gatekeeper studio moving that over there and just all the mess ups that happened. The mummy messed us up. We didn't, you know, start attacking each other. It was just one of those things where we just laughed and reverted and went again and kept on going. And I have, I have my own little military base where I built some cool planes. But there's also, I just, you know, you, you think back to all the memories and all the events, you know, we had, like hundreds and hundreds of hours of my own and of others on streams, on building in between streams, different iterations of the realm on dedicated hosting servers, multiple realms to try and help with permissions. And I think it, you know, the realm was really made by the people, not the builds. You know, I've, I think through the old members and calling on Slushy before we even knew how to do commands to clear a whole area, having the work dog in, and then, you know, Kelly and Cobalt Wills, Bungle, Mr. Noon, Haslam, Updog, the whole staff team where we just tried lots of new ideas to make stuff work. You know, I think it's really molded me into the person I am today. Um, the builders, you know, QTV, and ma'am, you know, ev ev every single person that has ever placed a block or I've been in a group chat with or being in a talking in a channel text channel voice channel i think every single one and all the memories i've made with everyone is so special but you know there's, there's there are times when i'd be coming i'd be waking up coming straight onto the realm jumping in a voice chat going to and then playing for 13 14 hours going to bed uh, getting like two three hours of sleep coming back on and doing the same thing just over and over and over because I loved it that much. And even even though, you know, the realm's not really been the same the past year or two, and it, it started dying off when I've needed to, you know, just take everything back and relax, I've always come back to the realm just to, you know, relax, place a few blocks, even if I don't get anything really significant, I'm just flying around it, just thinking back to all the brilliant times that I've had on this realm. Is something that I don't think I'll ever be able to forget. And hopefully, if the realm does come back to its full, hopefully everyone that's here, or people that are still here, pe new people, or create the memories and the friends that I did back when I was um, uh, really majorly working on the realm. That was a that was a fun video. Um, there was a lot of screenshots in there, older screenshots, and got to see some stuff that we hadn't seen in quite some time. So, yeah, it's good stuff. And I see Eastwood out there in the chat there as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot has happened over the last five years. The first three were obviously the heydays, especially when we had stuff that we were building and just. I, I love nothing more when we had those giant build sessions when you know we had. We built up the uh, the original Hillenburg Arena when everybody got in on that. Whenever um, you know, we all got in on the Bubble Bowl, and you know the day when we tried to clone it all over to Bikini Bottom, and like you know the things that cloned right and things that didn't clone right, and kind of all that stuff, and just 
there was the massive build sessions were a lot of fun. I think it just it kind of got to the point where we obviously just we ran out of big things to do. <laughs> it just kind of got to that point, unfortunately, where there's just like a lot of things were just kind of like, hey, we're just kind of just chilling and doing whatever at that point. So, which there's nothing wrong with it. Just kind of was like, um. You know, what are we going to do for the stream? What are we going to do? Um, but it was nice when we had that ideas, the, the new ideas that were sparked and we all kind of got on and were able to work together on stuff because there was there was a lot of times where people had different ideas and different visions for the ways that things worked. But I mean, nine times out of 10, we were all able to work together for a common vision and at least find one way that everybody could help contribute to that. So those were obviously the fun stuff, but... Yeah, um, so Eastwood, I, you might have missed this one, but um, um, obviously I've been doing a lot of things in the NHL community recently. I mean, even I haven't been doing a lot of streaming. Uh, the last stream I did was probably about a month ago, and I've been starting to kind of repair like retro game consoles and things like that for resell on eBay and whatnot. Um, whatnot, the platform actually, not whatnot, just because whatnot. But um, I... Um, Part of the charity stream that I was on was basically if um, the person was able to raise X amount of dollars that they would have to play Minecraft and they would have to come on and do an episode of Guts. So I'm just waiting for them to give me the date on when they can do it because pretty much everything is ready to go. The only thing that I have to do is I have to add a couple of more letters to the judges' stands and just kind of, you know, mix things up and get... Um, um, you know, jerseys ready and whatever items that people are going to need. And um, yeah, I mean, I would like to get back to doing it again. I just honestly like, like everybody, life happens and it's just, it's been a crazy year. Lots of ups, you know, there's been some downs, but you know, for the most part, I've been blessed with a lot of ups. So I am happy for that. Um, I'm alive. I'm still here and I still have my hair. Amazingly. So I am uh, I'm very happy for that, and I'm not going bald. Look, you can see it. I have no bald spots yet. Um, so yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I've missed everything over the last couple of years. Sad that we haven't really gotten back to where I was hoping that we would be in the last year, but um, yeah, I, I would love to get back to doing more filming and more game shows and things like that. Because um, I think we're ready to do that kind of stuff. Um, it's just really just like, are there people still around? Are people that be interested in doing that? Is there an audience? Do people want to see that? Um, I don't know. Um, it remains to be seen. I mean, hopefully there still is. Hopefully there's a rekindled interest. Um, you know, Splat World came in at the height of Minecraft's popularity again after, you know, people like Stampy and everybody else were coming in and really making the game popular again. Um, and there was this huge resurgence with Nickelodeon from the 90s, and that's kind of fizzled out a little bit. So, um, you know, is there still that demand for that stuff? Because if there is, I'm still here. I have been paying the bill for five years now um, to keep this thing up, and not once has the realm gone down, um, you know, a couple hundred dollars keeping this thing up, and I'm still here. Um, so like there's, there's no reason that, uh, this thing's going away anytime soon. I don't see it going away anytime soon. Um, even if there's no major building or progress or anything that's happening on the realm, um, the realm is still here. So people can still come in, people can still build, people can still add on to stuff. But, um, I do at some point want to get back to filming new episodes. Cause if you go back and look at my YouTube channel, I haven't uploaded anything. And well, I mean, aside from the NHL stuff, um, you know, going to all-star games and things like that. I haven't done, gosh, I haven't done a, uh, a Minecraft game show episode in, let's see, the last one I posted, I'm going to look it up right now. Um, the last one I posted was four years ago. Four years ago was the last one that we actually posted and... I don't even, let's see, can I even see when this video was actually posted? I'm trying to see if there's an easy way for me to see. Uh, I'm not seeing any easy way to really see the analytics. 
I, I don't really see anything. Uh, but anyway, it's a four-year-old episode, and, you know, people liked those episodes. They were good. Um, it's just, you know, do we want to get back to doing that kind of stuff, and is there an audience for it, and people do people want to be on it? That's the whole thing, so. Um, with kind of with that being said, um, we've gone through, we're at about three hours on the stream. We've gone through and we've toured a lot of builds. We've shared a lot of stories. Um, I think there's still some stuff that we haven't shared yet. Um, Kelly obviously has gone through and he has actually finished the lost episode that I had filmed that is not there or at least I still have the files for, but I've never actually finished just because of the sake of just like, I gave it to Kelly to finish and Kelly went and did it. So maybe we save that for the next time we do this stream. You never know. Um, when that next stream will be, I don't know. Maybe do we do something in a month? Maybe we kind of pick this thing back up during the summer a little bit. I mean, we're here. It is June. Will it be 2025? No, I don't think so. Um, as soon as I know a time frame of when I will be able to get um, Tugi and these other guys up here to do the Guts episode, I will let people know. I will let people know so they can be in the audience. I will, you know, obviously get that up there. Um, I probably won't stream that because obviously we want to do the whole production value with like the overlays and the graphics and whatnot. A little hard to do on a live stream. I mean, it can be done, but it's not, uh, it's not something that's easily done, especially when it's one person filming and you're editing in a bunch of different shots. So, um, it would be very basic if I did something like that, but, um, figure it out is ready to go. I mean, that's a ready to go thing. All I need is I need contestants and I need videos for the actual talent. Um, you know, we can get going with some double dare again. We can do lots of different things. Um, I just got to figure out if there's interest and, you know, just kind of go from there. So, um, yeah. So when will the next stream be? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, Hey, look, there's crash Andrews crash. You need to get on Tugi and be like, yo, we need to do the whole guts thing because I need you in here because you're Canadian. You need to be representative of Canada. We've got uh, we've got uh, Tugi from the U.S. We've got Crash. If you're here, that'll be the uh, you'll be from Canada. And if we can get somebody from another country, that'd be great. If not, you know, we can do, uh, you know, somebody from the U.S., somebody from Canada. We can do whatever. I'm I'm sitting here waiting. I'm waiting for you guys. Let's literally right here. The building is open. Literally, it's right here. It's just waiting for you guys. I'm ready to film it right now. I can be ready in like 15 minutes. That's how long it would take me to prep for a show. 15 minutes. That's all it would take. So whenever Tugi decides that he's got an evening that he can dedicate me, you know, two hours, that's all I need. Give me two hours and then we can put a show together and we can get it done. Um, but yeah, if we've been going for three hours. I am hungry. I have not had a chance to really eat anything yet today. Um, I've got some other things that I have to get done this weekend. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff I need to upload to eBay. Um, I've got literally probably about 200 games that I'm listing on eBay this weekend. So um, there's OG Xbox, there's GameCube, there's Switch, there's 3DS, there's DS, there's Game Boy Advance, there's original Game Boy. Uh, there's a ton of games that I'm listing on eBay. Uh, just because that's my new side hustle is I'm like fixing up retro games and I'm reselling them. If you want to see games, I've got games. Here's a hundred different loose games. Here's 200 loose games. Here's 300 loose games. All 300 games have to be resurfaced, have to be tested. This is just my next side project, so. You may need an OG Game Boy. Well, I got those as well. I've got OG Game Boys up the wazoo. Do I sell just the discs? Absolutely. I have these are all just discs. Like they don't have like cases. They don't have instructions. They don't have cover art. Um, I can print all that stuff out, but I mean, literally, these are just going to be discs that I just sell. So, um, and look, I've got Pokemans. We've got Pokemans. I've got all the Pokemans. So, I've got all sorts of stuff. I'm um, going to flea markets and stuff. I wish. 
Um, there are no really, uh, there's no flea markets really around here in the Orlando area um, that I've really seen. So um, I find lots on eBay, just like lots of like 70, 80 games that for a cheap price that I can go through with my resurfacing machine and I resurface them, test them, um, send them out the door. The last Twitch stream I did, I was just repairing games. So the next stream that I do, will do, I've got... These two Game Boy consoles that I need to refurbish. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to retrobrite them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gut them and I'm going to take out the plastics and I'm going to retrobrite them, meaning I'm going to take them and I'm going to dump them in hydrogen peroxide, put them under UV lights for about eight hours, and then they're going to look brand new. Um, that's just for the shells. Then what I've got to do is I got to go in, I got to replace the screens. I've got um, this one right here. This one has horizontal lines on it, so I've got to go through and I've got to re-solder the, um, uh, the actual ribbon cable. Um, and then once that's done, test them, make sure they're working. None of these have corrosion or anything like that, so these should be easy fixes, but I just got to go through and do that. Um, you can actually see, like, hey, this screen is no longer attached. Uh, but it's okay, because I've got brand new ones, so... Uh, how much would they be? Um, so these Game Boys I bought, um, this, this particular lot, I bought both of them for $60 and they were sold non-working, which technically they work, they power on, they just have, you know, they need to be refurbished, you know, new screens and whatnot. So when they're all said and done, I'm looking to sell them for about 85 to hundred bucks. That's what I'm hoping to get out of them. Um, that gives me enough money, uh, that I make a little bit of money, but also it pays for the, the parts that go into it as well. So. That's what I'm hoping to do. Um, but the other thing is, too, I can change console batteries um, for different games. Like, I've been replacing batteries, like, on these Pokemon games. For example, this Pokemon game, um, it had no cover art on it. Um, it had a bunch of, like, I don't know, uh, what was it, like, Sharpie on it. But, like, you can get rid of the Sharpie. I cleaned up the cart, changed the battery. I put a reproduction label on it. Um, and just so you guys know, I don't sell, you know, I don't, I don't reprint art and not tell people that it's reproduction. So like, if you go and you look, um, it actually shows on here that it's a reproduction label. I'm not going to put on a new label and try to tell somebody that it's the original label. I don't do something like that. So, um, yeah, so I've, I've literally got tons and tons and tons of games. Like, that's my new side hustle. <laughs> that's what I do on the side on weekends. So, um, yeah, I've, I've got literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games that are going up on eBay. So, uh, yep. So if you if you don't follow me on Twitter already, uh, it's MonkeyDo22. Same thing on Twitch. Same thing on YouTube. All that good stuff. Um, I like plan. Like I said, I plan to list hundreds of games this weekend. So there's going to be a bunch of stuff up there. That's everything from the original Game Boy up to the Switch. There's Xbox One games already listed. 360 games are up there. Um, all sorts of stuff. So if you're interested in that, it's all there. But like, if you are interested in something that I have on eBay and you want to make me an offer, send me a DM on Twitter because like, I can make you a deal outside of eBay that will be more mutually beneficial because I won't have to pay a fee if I don't sell it on eBay. So there's always that. Hopefully a job responds to me because I really do want a GBA, so I can definitely get one if I get the chance. Hey, I got Game Boy Advance. I got one right here. Got one right here. This one just needs a new screen lens because uh, this one's all scratched up, but then it'll be working like brand new. And throw the game in. And there it is. So, yep, yeah, it works. All that good stuff. But uh, I think I'm going to end the stream here uh, because I do want to get something to eat. I am starving. Um, but the next time I stream, well, like I said, I'm going to be doing some refurbishment on those two Game Boys. I just need to retrobrite them first. So probably looking at maybe the end of the month, maybe next week that I will be doing that stream. And normally when I do those streams, I'm doing them on the weekend. So, um you never know. Um, I will be tweeting out when I do that one next. And um, 
Yeah, so I think that's going to wrap it up. I need to find somebody to raid here, though. I don't know who I'm going to raid. Uh, let's see. Who can I raid? Also, where is my raid button? I don't have my raid button anymore. Oh, there it is. For some reason, they changed it. Who's live right now? Oh, my God. All right. So I'm going to send you over to somebody who is also playing Minecraft. This is a good friend of mine. They go by Sync. Sync Otter is their name. And uh, they're playing Minecraft right now. So maybe we'll see what they got going on over there. Maybe they're doing this some survival. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm interested to check it out. So stick around for the raid. And uh, until next time, I will, uh, I'll see you on the Twitters. I'll see you on... Uh, Twitch and other streams, and um, uh, we'll have to talk in the Splat World Discord and figure out when we're going to do uh, something else, um, you know, when it comes to fun things again. So I appreciate everybody watching, hanging out for the three hours, and uh, stay tuned for the raid, and I will catch you all later. Bye.